Welcome to the Chevy All-Star Pre-Game Show on Fox. Chevy, baseball's number one fan in American Revolution. Earlier today, calm was in the skies. But with the setting sun, something strange was occurring. And across America, the sky was lighting up. Reports of shooting stars were everywhere. And they were filling the nighttime skies. In California, this sensational phenomenon was first visible. It was a brilliant light storm, and it was moving east, fast. It hit the Midwest. Texas, cowboys could see it fly. Reports from Chicago were coming in, but what was it, and where was it going? It is a cosmic rush, and it's flying straight into Pittsburgh, PA. Now. This is no ordinary summer night. This is a night when all the stars are out and shining bright. And they have one destination, PNC Park. Tonight, baseball's shooting stars have landed right before our eyes. And they are ready to explode in baseball's mid-summer classic. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, only on Fox. Oh, yeah, for seven decades, Major League Baseball and its All-Star Power Act have traveled across the country. Tonight, it is indeed Destination Pittsburgh, the city hosting the midsummer festivities, the fall park, truly a classic. They come by land, the mass of humanity travel across the Clemente Bridge. They come by sea. There is a riverboat pilgrimage across the Allegheny. Just one goal in mind. Get to the Steel City Shrine to celebrate America's pastime. And you have got a front row seat right here on Fox. America, please meet BMC Park. It is buried treasure at the home of the Pirates. And meet Kevin Kennedy. I am Jeannie Zelasko. Really, the regular occupants of this ballpark do not get a lot of natural national coverage. So this is a really a a treasure no one knows about. Yeah, it really is. PNC Park opened in 2001. It salutes the spirit of old Forbes Field, a little bit of Wrigley Field, and a little bit of Fenway starting in right field. It's not a 38-foot high wall green monster like they have in Fenway, but it is 21 feet high in honor of Roberto Clemente and the great number 21 that he wore. In right field, yeah, we have splashed down right here in Pittsburgh. It's 455 feet from home plate to the Allegheny River, and yes, there's some people out there looking for some home run balls tonight. Maybe they'll see Ryan Howard or David Ortiz do that. No man's land's dead center, 399, also 410, and the wind will blow anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour left to right, Jeannie, so stay away from those left-handed hitters. Yeah, great ballpark, great game, and if you think this is just an exhibition game, guess again. Check out the excitement in the clubhouses less than an hour ago. The other thing I'd like to tell you is, is you know, we've been catching a lot of heat about the National League. Getting, getting thumped a little bit this year. I think our all-star team is as good as they come. So obviously we want to win it this year. Those of you that are in the hunt, looking at chances to go to the World Series, home field makes a big advantage. So let's take advantage of this opportunity, and we obviously want to win. Let's get that pride back in the National League. The bottom line is this. No matter how wild the hog, let's bring home the bacon. Thank you, guys. Let's go. I, I try to play everyone. Uh, hopefully I can do this. But I don't promise anyone. I'm not going to promise anyone because the soon I got to Pittsburgh, the only thing they told me is win, win, win. But I'm going to try to, to manage this, this game like it's the last game in the World Series because somebody in this clubhouse, it will be helped by you guys in the World Series. 
When will this trend die? Since 1997, the American League genie has been dominant. 8 and 0. Oh, Interleague. Runs per game, World batting Series. average, home runs, everything has been dominant for the American League. But there was a point in time for about 11 straight years the National League won. Back in the 60s, the National League won. In the 50s, the American League was dominant. So the trend needs to end right now. Phil Garner is set on doing that with a bunch of youngsters because the American League really has more veterans. And the National League looking for some redemption, and so is tonight's American League starter. If I would have told you 365 days ago that Kenny Rogers would be taking the mound tonight as a starter and not being booed in the All-Star game, you might have thought I was crazy. Remember, he had the run-in with the cameraman. Well, but... remember, he was an All-Star last year. He came on our show. We interviewed him. We talked to him. He apologized. He made a big mistake. He's paid for it financially. He's paid for it with his reputation. But I've known him for 13 years. He's a good guy. He has 200 wins in the big leagues. A great off-season signing by the Detroit Tigers. And that's why they have the best record in the American League Central. Yeah. And he told me yesterday he really hopes all is forgiven because this is about celebrating baseball. Speaking of a fresh start, the Pirates could use that about the only thing that has gone right for the hometown club since Barry Bonds left town in the early 90s is this ballpark. But don't be fooled, this club has a rich 120-year Major League history. Baseball in Pittsburgh. The game is as much a part of the Steel City as the gritty blue-collar attitude of its people. Honus Wagner, the Flying Dutchman, was the face of the Pittsburgh Pirates in the early 1900s, winning eight batting titles. Wagner was considered the game's best player, leading the Pirates to their first world championship in 1909 against Ty Cobb's Detroit Tigers. It was also in 1909 when Pittsburgh opened Forbes Field, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, for six full decades and the site of some of baseball's most memorable moments. Here's a swing and a high fly ball going deep to left. Let's see, do it. Back to the wall goes Barry. It is over the fence, home run. The Pirates win. Ralph said it was a slider, but I didn't slide. <laughs> When I hit second base, I, I didn't touch the ground all the way to home. It's, it's something you dream as a kid, and it happened to me, and I, I just don't know how to explain it. And then there was Roberto Clemente. He could not only hit, catch, run, and throw with the best of them, he did it with flair. Roberto Clemente said one time, he said, I play hard every day because those 40,000 people, maybe one people pay his own money to watch Roberto Clemente play. That's why I play hard every day, make sure when this guy leaves the ballpark, he feel proud to watch Roberto Clemente. Clemente tallied his 3,000th career hit on what would be his final regular season at bat. His life ended tragically in the 1972 offseason. Roberto Clemente died doing the only thing he may have loved more than baseball, helping others. While trying to deliver relief supplies to earthquake-stricken Nicaragua, Clemente's plane crashed. His body was never recovered. He, he really was a, uh, I call him an angel. He, I am very happy that six you know, graders come to me and they say, I learned about your father in school. Uh, their chapters and their history books, and they want to do well. They want to help people, just, just like him. It was a theme song that embodied the brotherhood of the 1979 Pirates. And at the head of that family was a man simply known as Pops. That season, Hall of Famer Willie Stargell not only won the NL MVP, but also rallied the Bucks from a three games to one deficit to win the franchise's fifth World Series title. This is a very anchored town. Uh, maybe the glamour isn't there uh, like some of the big city, but it's, it's rock solid. And if you convince people as an athlete in the city of Pittsburgh that you are real, that you're legit, you've got time for them, you own the city. Pittsburgh's been a storied franchise over the years, period, but how about the All-Star Games previously? Four different times, Forbes Field, the Three Rivers, and now PNC, the fifth time. Pittsburgh, the National League, has won this game. So perhaps, Jeannie, that's a good omen. And also, 1903 in Pittsburgh, the site of the first World Series, also one of the oldest franchises to stay in one city, and that is 115 years, this ball club, the Pirates, in Pittsburgh. Now, as again, says he has his own omen. He's named his kid after Clemente. He has a Clemente <laughs> room. By the way, the showers aren't going to dampen anything here tonight. There Not will be all. a celebration for Roberto Clemente. They'll stop down the game. You have that to look forward to in your future. First pitch, not too far away, but the game has already started online. Play the 9-9 nine nine sweepstakes right now for a chance to win prizes during every inning of tonight's game, including an all-new 2007 Chevy Avalanche. Log on to foxsports.com slash contest slash baseball. Try and win a Chevy. Thomas Airgood, Jr., going to try and win a million dollars right now. It is the Taco Bell swing for a million. Here's Tim DeBacco, the PA announcer here at PNC Park with all the details. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the area behind home plate. Tonight, one lucky fan will have an opportunity to participate in the Taco Bell Swing for a Million contest. The lucky fan is none other than 18-year-old Thomas Airgood Jr. from Pittsburgh. And to help coach him along, he is joined by three-time Pirates All-Star, Al Scoops Oliver. Now Thomas will have exactly 30 seconds to take five swings from the tee at home plate to hit one of the three eight-foot by eight-foot Taco Bell targets located on the field. And if he does it, Thomas will take home one million dollars, compliments of Taco Bell. So now let's cheer on Thomas as he tries his luck for a million dollars. Ready, set, go! Swing number two. Number three. Number four. Cheer them on, fans. Number five. Sorry, Thomas. Nice try. Thank you for coming and thank you for participating in the Taco Bell Swing for a Million contest. And thank you, Taco Bell, for your support of Major League Baseball. Well, the kid from Pittsburgh guaranteed to have a good time tonight, even though he doesn't walk away with a million. We've got over two dozen kids guaranteed to have a good time tonight as well. The fresh faces in the lineups on the rosters, the fans who brought them here. And Joe Buck will have your starting lineups for the 77th All-Star Game coming up next on Fox. Designed to be truly inspired, it must be more than just artful. It must perform beautifully, too. Now at the Infinity Limited Engagement Summer Event, test drive the Infinity M or FX and ask about our attractive lease and finance rates. But don't wait too long. The Infinity Limited Engagement ends July 31st. Okay, Phil here has a national calling plan from U.S. Cellular. Now, what does it mean that there are no roaming or long-distance charges? That I can call from anywhere to anywhere. Okay, and what city would you be calling from right now? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Thanks. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. There's no roaming or long-distance charges ever. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Right now, get 1,500 nationwide anytime minutes for only $45 a month. Uh, oh, where's Bill? Probably working. With a customer. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yes. I'm Bill. And I'm from Wamu. Would anybody like free checks for life? <laughs> Why'd you try taking the shirt off my back for free? <laughs> hey, guys. What are you doing? Nothing. 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 New Wamu free checking. <laughs> the Wamu way. Now, the best place to play just got better. Experience an inspired twist on casual dining at the all-new Mosaic Restaurant. Or lounge in style with the color, light, and sound of sheer. Food, fun, excitement, and free admission every day for everyone. It's all right here, only at Harris Joliet. Smoke and the CTA forces evacuations in the loop. We'll have the latest after the game. And welcome back to the Chevy All-Star pregame on Fox. Chevy, baseball's number one fan in American Revolution.
Now it's time to meet the 2006 All-Stars. First representing the American League, the coaches from the Cleveland Indians, Eric Wedge. From the Toronto Blue Jays, John Gibbons. And now the players. From the Baltimore Orioles, infielder Miguel Tejada. From the Boston Red Sox, pitcher Jonathan Papelbon. From the Chicago White Sox, catcher A.J. Pierzynski. Infielder Paul Conerco. Outfielder Jermaine Dye. Infielder Jim Tomey. Pitcher Bobby Jenks. Pitcher Jose Contreras. And pitcher Mark Burley. From the Cleveland Indians, outfielder Grady Sizemore. From the Detroit Tigers, outfielder Maglio Ordonez. From the Kansas City Royals, pitcher Mark Redmond. From the Minnesota Twins, catcher Joe Maurer. Pitcher Francisco Liriano. Pitcher Johan Santana. From the New York Yankees, infielder Robinson Cano. Pitcher Mariano Rivera. From the Oakland Athletics, pitcher Barry Zito. From the Seattle Mariners, infielder Jose Lopez. From the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, pitcher Scott Kazmir. From the Texas Rangers, infielder Michael Young. Outfielder Gary Matthews Jr. From the Toronto Blue Jays, outfielder Alex Rios. Infielder Troy Gloss. Pitcher Roy Halliday. And pitcher B.J. Ryan. And now representing the National League. First, the coaches from the Cincinnati Reds, Jerry Naren. From the Pittsburgh Pirates, Jim Tracy. And now the players. From the Arizona Diamondbacks, pitcher Brandon Webb. From the Atlanta Braves, catcher Brian McCann. Outfielder Andrew Jones. From the Chicago Cubs, pitcher Carlos Zambrano. From the Cincinnati Reds, pitcher Bronson Arroyo. From the Colorado Rockies, outfielder Matt Holliday. Pitcher Brian Fuentes. From the Florida Marlins, infielder Dan Ugla. Infielder Miguel Cabrera. From the Houston Astros, outfielder Lance Berkman. Pitcher Roy Oswald. From the Los Angeles Dodgers, infielder Nomar Garcia Parra. From the Milwaukee Brewers, pitcher Chris Capuano. 
outfielder Carlos Lee. Pitcher Derek Turnbow. From the New York Mets, elected to start, but unable to due to injury, infielder Jose Reyes. And pitcher Tom Glavin. From the Philadelphia Phillies, home run derby champ, infielder Ryan Howard. And pitcher Tom Gordon. From the Pittsburgh Pirates, infielder Freddy Sanchez. From the St. Louis Cardinals, infielder David Eckstein. Infielder Scott Rowland. And pitcher Chris Carpenter. From the San Diego Padres, pitcher Trevor Hoffman. From the San Francisco Giants, pitcher Jason Schmidt. Let's go. Let's meet the American League manager in starting lineup. The manager from the 2005 World Series champion Chicago White Sox, Ozzie Guillen. And now, batting first and playing right field from the Seattle Mariners, Ichiro Suzuki. <laughs> Batting second and playing shortstop from the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter. Batting third and playing first base from the Boston Red Sox, David Ortiz. Batting fourth and playing third base from the New York Yankees, Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Batting fifth and playing left field from the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Vladimir Guerrero. <laughs> Batting sixth and catching out in the bullpen from the Detroit Tigers, Yvonne Rodriguez. Batting seventh and playing center field from the Toronto Blue Jays, Vernon Wells. Batting eighth and playing second base from the Boston Red Sox, Mark Loretta. And warming up, batting ninth and pitching from the Detroit Tigers, Kenny Rogers. Let's meet the National League manager and starting lineup. The manager from the 2005 National League champion Houston Astros, Phil Garner. Batting first and playing left field from the Washington Nationals, Alfonso Soriano. Batting second and playing center field from the New York Mets, Carlos Beltran. Batting third and playing first base from the St. Louis Cardinals, Albert Pujols. Here he is, batting fourth. Playing right field from the Pittsburgh Pirates, Jason Bay.
batting fifth and playing shortstop from the Atlanta Braves, Edgar Renteria. <laughs> batting sixth and playing third base from the New York Mets, David Wright. Batting seventh and playing second base from the Philadelphia Phillies, Chase Utley. Batting eighth and catching from the New York Mets, out in the bullpen, Paul Loduca. And warming up in the bullpen, batting ninth and pitching from the Los Angeles Dodgers, Brad Penning. As we continue on Fox, we will come back and have the Star Spangled Banner when we return from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What's your favorite brand, America? Chevrolet! We love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, Chevrolet. Whoa, wait, what's a rally monkey? They go together. Chevy, an American revolution. Honey, remember when you asked me to spice up your food? Yeah. The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Spicy and grilled, so it's good to go. Whoa, spicy and grilled, so it's good to go. Good to go? Good, Good to go. go. The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices with melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell tastes. Loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled so it's good to go. He's good to go. For a spicier way to go, think outside the bun. Low Roaming Gnome, enforcer of the Travelocity Guarantee. Uh-oh, all is not well. I must tell them. Good morning. Hello. Speaking? So, you're calling to help me rebook because the hotel pool's under construction? Oh, dear. Wow. The Travelocity Guarantee. Booking out for you even before you go. Ooh, tingly. Hey, Rod, if you're interested, there's a future for you in the beverage distribution industry. How do we know you spend more time behind the wheel than you want? And that often, what really needs refueling is you. How do we know you like fast better than slow? And that a friendly place to stop along the way can make a big difference in your life? How do we know? It's really very simple the human touch, and a thousand other things you need. We're Exxon. We're mobile. We're drivers, too. Nobody's coming after you. Don't lie to me! When you're negotiating the FBI's toughest crisis situations... I think you're the first guy who ever messed up. I'm sleeping with my partner! You have to get personal. Sex in the office. I felt I was losing the guy. How long were we partners, man? I've heard all your lines. Well, almost all of them. This fall... We need to alter our strategy. Everything is negotiable. Don't make a sound. Stand off. The series premiere, Tuesday, September 5th on Fox. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. Welcome back to the Chevy All-Star pregame on Fox. Chevy, baseball's number one fan and American Revolution. 
Well, it has been drizzling. We hope that the rain will push on out of here. This beautiful scene in front of you here at PNC Park. And right now, let's go to public address announcer Tim DeBacco. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please remain standing? Here to honor America with the singing of our national anthem is two-time Academy of Country Music Award winner, Carrie Underwood. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's bright glare. Red Zone Deep Cleansing Body Wash, the active formula with micro beads, cleans deep down to the four. I thought you said he was a fan. Old Spice Deep Cleansing Body Wash, nothing cleans deeper. Whoa, these spicy chicken crunch wrap supremes are spicy. Mm, spicy and grilled, so they're good to go. Spicy and good to go, have a sip of my soda. <laughs> or so tasty, I'm good to go get another one. <laughs> Or good to go get a job. <laughs> the new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices with melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell taste. Loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled so it's good to go. For a spicier way to go, think outside the bun. On February 6th, AOL invited its members to be fast. Hey and switch from dial-up to true broadband. Since then, thousands of people every day have experienced the easy setup, the most comprehensive set of safety tools online, and content made to bring broadband to life. Now it's your turn to experience AOL High Speed. Get both AOL service and a broadband connection together for as low as $25.90 a month. Call 1-866-NEED-AOL or go to aol.com slash high speed. Want a better high speed internet? You belong at AOL. I had acid. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Buck. How you doing? Oh, what a voice. It's like, it's pure it's like baseball. velvet mixed with peanut butter. Yeah. Would it be all right if I touched your throat while you said something? Okay. Okay. If you could just say swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. <laughs> that is oh. awesome. You guys got to try it. Go ahead. Okay. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. No. Swing and a miss. Swing guys, I'm going to take the stairs. I'm going to take the stairs. Guys, I'm, I'm going to take, take the stairs. Guys. Wherever you're going, there's a car company that wants you to get more out of a gallon of gas. Chevy. Nine out of ten cars we sell get an EPA-estimated 30 highway miles per gallon or better. Here's one that doesn't, but it still gets 26 MPG highway. Chevy. We're taking a full tank further. That's an American revolution. Tonight is your night. I'm very proud of you. In the blink of an eye. I'll be right back. The wife of...
of a U.S. senator will vanish. Does she have any enemies? She teaches second grade. But before they can find out where she is... Can this be off the record? They must discover who she is. She's gone missing before. Twelve years ago. From the network that brought you 24 and Prison Break comes the next great thriller. Do whatever it takes to get my wife back. Vanished. The new series premieres Monday, August 21st on Fox. The Chevy All-Star pregame is sponsored by the new Spicy Chicken Crunch Wrap Supreme at Taco Bell. It's good to go by your Exxon and Mobile retailers. We're drivers, too. And by Chevy, baseball's number one fan, Chevy and American Revolution. We welcome you back to the Chevy All-Star pregame on Fox. is this setting PNC Park in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania it is the 77th Major League Baseball All-Star Game where the best from the American League visit the best from the National League the winner gets home field advantage in the upcoming World Series welcome to our broadcast booth everybody as you look at the standing room only area before that the Roberto Clemente bridge where fans walk across and catch the action this place is fantastic I'm Joe Buck Tim McCarver is coming up in just a second. What does the National League want? The National League wants respect. The National League wants a win. They haven't won the All-Star game since 1996. The American League dominated interleague play this season. And Tim McCarver, you look at the roster, and it's balanced toward the American League in this game. So the question, how does the National League win this game tonight? Well, the American League is a ridiculously tough lineup and roster to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with and slug it out. So what the National League has to do, they have to innovate with the first two guys in their lineup. That's Alfonso Soriano, Carlos Beltran. They've got to be aggressive on the bases, but keep in mind, if they're aggressive on the bases, they're aggressive against the best throwing catcher in the history of baseball. Well, before the game, we heard some from manager Phil Garner of the National League side. He had more to say specifically about the running game. From my standpoint, I'm going to stay out of it. There are not going to be any signs. You do what you want to do. This is your game. This is where you strut your stuff. You feel like stealing the base? That's your thing. Steal the base. You're a power hitter. We're not taking pitches. If it's 3-0, and you're swinging if you want it. You got it. So there are no signs. Play your game. Do your thing. Strut your stuff. Well, that's Phil Garner. On the other side, Ozzie Guillen said, I'm not going to play everybody on my roster. And if you don't like it for not playing, then make the team next year. He's going to manage just like the seventh game of the World Series. The winner gets home field advantage in the World Series. How good is this setting? PNC Park. The stars are out in Pittsburgh. Baseball is next. please. Introducing Keep the Change. There you go. Enjoy Thank the show. You. Each time you make a purchase with your Bank of America Visa check card, we not only round up the amount to the next dollar and transfer your change from your checking to your savings account, we also match your savings for the first three months and continue matching 5% thereafter, up to $250, which means there's a new easy way to save right at your fingertips. Keep the Change and experience higher standards in checking, only from Bank of America. KG. All right, I'm Dwayne. Two, one. All day, baby. All day. Put it, put Ready, three, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I'll tell you what's coming. And you still won't hit it. Bring it then. Uh, why don't you try it on your hand? Want to keep the game going? Gatorade. Ready to lose again? Shut your big head up. <laughs> Is it in you? How do we know you spend more time behind the wheel than you want? And that often, what really needs refueling is you. How do we know you like fast better than slow? And that a friendly place to stop along the way can make a big difference in your life? How do we know? It's really very simple. 
the human touch, and a thousand other things you need. We're Exxon. We're mobile. We're drivers, too. Okay, we've got a break in the action. Oh, good. I can play the Grand Slam quiz. You like these, don't you? Yeah, as long as there's no math. Not likely. Okay, which company do more drivers go with and stay with? Well, uh, the biggest one. You think they're looking for something a bit more specific? Okay, not that one. Definitely not that one. Or that one. No, I'm going to go with State Farm. Gee, Bob, how'd you know? Oh, it's a no-brainer. Your specialty. Well, thanks. 911. It's my wife. Please help me. When a scandal becomes a headline. Kevin loved his wife. He did not kill her. When the world is watching. I am not going to let them convict you for something you didn't do. Meet the best defense money can buy. You sure Kevin's innocent? Does it matter to you if he is? From acclaimed producer Jerry Bruckheimer. I didn't kill her. I can't prove this. I can't prove anything, but I didn't do this. Justice, the new series, premieres Wednesday, August 30th on Fox. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Bank of America. Keep the change only from Bank of America. By your Exxon and mobile retailers, we're drivers too. By State Farm. Great service and great rates. You can get it all from State Farm. And by Old Spice Deep Cleansing Body Wash. Nothing cleans deeper. This ballpark has been around since 2001, and it is indeed a little jewel sitting here right on the Allegheny River. Capacity 38,496, and for a while they were enduring a brief little rain shower. We understand there will be showers passing through. Dare I say, Tim, is this the kiss of death? We're supposed to be able to just play right on. <laughs> is that the kiss of death? Did I do it? No, I don't think so. No, you're fine. Take a look one more time at the starting lineup for the American League. It's sponsored by Taco Bell. And you should know the names by now. Ichiro leads it off in right field. Derek Jeter bats in the number two spot. Then David Ortiz, Big Poppy, hitting third at first base. A-Rod cleans up. Vladimir Guerrero is in left. Von Rodriguez does the catching. Vernon Wells gets the start because Manny Ramirez did not show up here in Pittsburgh. Mark Loretta is batting eighth and pitching and batting ninth. And everybody can't wait to see Kenny Rogers swing the bat and hit. Brad Penny is finally healthy. He has had a rough go the last couple of years. He's been basically a 500 performer until this year when he put together this 10 and 2 start. Now, almost uh, two years ago, traded for his battery mate, Paul Loduca. Our pitcher profile for Brad is brought to you by your Exxon and mobile retailers. As you said, Joe, finally he healthy and a heavy, boring fastball with which the American Leaguers will have to deal. But how interesting is that? Almost two years ago, a six-player trade that sent Brad Penny from the Florida Marlins to the Los Angeles Dodgers and a very unpopular trade in sending Loduca to the Marlins. Now Loduca with the Mets and their battery mates starting the All-Star game. So Penny, Penny is getting set to go, and prior to the game, the ceremonial first pitch, the beloved Chuck Tanner. Manager, the 79 World Series champion, Pittsburgh Pirates. We are family. And the manager for the National League side, Phil Garner, learned so much from Chuck Tanner during his time here with the Pirates. And he pretty much brought Chuck here to be a good luck charm as the National League tries to get up off the deck and win for the first time since 1996. Phil Garner, actually a player for Chuck Tanner with the Oakland Athletics back in the middle 70s. And he took him to Pittsburgh. Scrap Iron is managing for the National League. On the American League side, it's Ozzie Guillen. And he put the lineup together. And no surprise that he would have Mr. 200 hits or more. Leading it off for the AL. Glad you're with us tonight on Fox. And a strike is poured over the outside corner. Ozzie Guillen is still, well, it's Guillen being Guillen. You talked to him before the game. and. Told you what he said to his players. If you don't play in this game tough, try to make the team next year. He is a beauty. Basically shared with us his pitching rotation as this game wears on. And just like it is for the National League side, because so many of the all-star pitchers worked on Saturday and Sunday, there are guys unavailable to each manager as we start tonight's game. 1-1 one, one pitch. 2-1. 79 degrees here tonight. And Ichiro trying to get on to jumpstart the AL 
offense. 2-1 pitch. 2-2. Two two. This guy is a delight to watch. 262 hits two years ago. Over 200 hits in each of his first five years. That is a major league record. On top of that, he plays every day. And he's, he's in his sixth year, he's missed 14 games. That's it. And the Mariners are hanging in there in the race in the AL West. Ichiro leans back. It's a full count. That's that heavy, boring fastball we were talking about thrown by Brad Pinning. Throws awfully hard and awfully heavy. This game starts with a foul on the first 3-2 pitch of the night. Penny is 6'4", 260, 28 years old. And he beat the Yankees two times in that World Series for Florida in 2003. Another 3-2 pitch. And a good start for the National League. Seven straight fastballs from Brad Penny to Ichiro. When a pitcher's on top of the ball, the ball usually goes down. This one stays up. Take a look at the defense for the National League. And it's Soriano in left field. Initially, when the Nationals picked him up, didn't want to play the outfield. He's taken well to it. Beltron in center. And Jason Bay, the Pittsburgh Pirate in right. Right, Renneria, Utley, and Pujols on the infield. And Loduca doing the catching for Penny. With one out, a swing and a miss by Jeter. Derek, you know his resume by now. That's what he's done so far during the regular season for the Yankees this year. And in his all-star past, he's 7 out of 10. He is best when the lights shine the brightest. And he's in the hole 0-2. 98. This may be the best I've seen a starter in the All-Star game just since back in 1999 when Pedro Martinez struck out five of the first six National Leaguers that he faced. Are you I saying mean, there's he, a glimmer of hope for the National League? <laughs> I mean, if Penny, if Penny pitches... Boy, he is letting it fly, man. Talk about letting it loose. Mercy. I got two innings for you tonight world and you're going to see my best and this should be as we talk early a pitching dominated game you would think with the kind of bullpen that each manager can go to as we work our way through the game wow 99 and typically he just doesn't throw this hard no no got a little extra juice tonight that's a four seam fastball up and into Derek Jeter Jeter, who is about as good as there is in baseball at keeping at bats alive, fouling off pitches, waiting for a mistake, waits for a 2-2 pitch and takes it low, another full count. And Penny did not like not getting that call from Jerry Crawford, the home plate umpire. It's even got Phil Garner talking to himself. Three two pitch and a tap foul. You can quarrel all you want with the idea that the winning side in the All Star game determines who gets home field advantage in the World Series. It's there. It's been talked about ad nauseum. But the bottom line is these two managers in this game tonight, as we said, are managing this game like it is the seventh game of the World Series because both managers could end up in the World Series. Back to back strikeouts to start the night for Penny. Two three two counts and two strikeouts for Penny to start this game. I think if you were going to redo your pitching profile after watching these two hitters try and catch up it might be great fastball and almost a riding fastball because it's taking off from the hand of Penny. A Mark Wolberg fastball. Catch me if you can. With two out and nobody on, here is David Ortiz. Third All-Star game for Big Poppy. Oh, oh, man. 97. And it's got Tim Kaplan already in the oh, first inning. Just get out there and throw as hard as you can. Why is LaDuca even giving signs? <laughs> really? All fastballs so far. 
as the National Leaguers smiling. Nope. Shook him off. Why would you change up? Just trying to play with Ortiz's mind. Here, shake off my fastball. Okay, now throw a fastball. One ball, one strike. A little wry smile on the face of Phil Garner. On the corner, and Penny is in a spot to strike out the side here in the first inning. It's unfair to throw that hard and locate that well. Like we're watching Wimbledon. You've got everybody in each dugout up on the top step, hanging over the railing, watching this display here in the first inning. A 2 2. Ortiz, a pretty good swing, but could not put it in play on a 99 mile an hour pitch from Brad Penny. From Broken Arrow High School in Oklahoma. And he is the 10th Dodger to start an All Star game. If he can pick up one more strike here in the first inning, nobody could have started it any better. Twentieth pitch of this first inning. Man, Ortiz has got to try and crank it up another notch. If there's one guy who can turn a fastball around. It's David Ortiz. And Tim, how clutch has David Ortiz been since he joined the Red Sox in 2003? 19 game-ending hits in the last three and a half years. We talked about it in the, the game we did, the White Sox and Red Sox on Saturday. I'll tell you, in my experience over a three and a half year period, this guy's gotten more big hits than anybody I've ever seen over that period of time. A guy who one time was just cut loose by the Minnesota Twins and Penny strikes out the side. What a start. Stand up. First Ichiro. Stand up. Sayonara. Derek Jeter. See ya. David Ortiz. Hasta luego. America, what's your favorite sport? Baseball. Sandwich? Hot dog. Pie. Apple. And what's your favorite brand, America? Chevrolet. Let's see, that's baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet, huh? Right. Well, then you'd better tell me again, America, because I just might forget. We love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, and Chevrolet. Free agents, rally monkeys, fancy leagues, and Chevrolet. Whoa, wait, what's a rally monkey? We love frozen yogurt, luxury boxes, camera phones, and Chevrolet. Mascots, gourmet pretzels, retractable roofs, and Chevrolet. Apparently, baseball's changed a little over the years, but not America's love of the game or our love for Chevy. They go together. In the good old USA, these painters, satellite radio, endorsement deals, and Chevrolet. Makes sense to me. Expansion teams, mocha, chino, broken curses, and Chevrolet. Chevy, an American revolution. Honey, remember when you asked me to spice up your food? Yeah. The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Spicy and grilled, so it's good to go. Whoa, spicy and grilled, so it's good to go. Good to go. Good, Good to, to go. go. The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices with melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell tastes. Loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled so it's good to go. He's good to go. For a spicier way to go, think outside the bun. On February 6th, AOL invited its members to be fast. Hey and switch from dial-up to true broadband. Since then, thousands of people every day have experienced the easy setup, the most comprehensive set of safety tools online, and content made to bring broadband to life. Now it's your turn to experience AOL High Speed. Get both AOL service and a broadband connection together for as low as $25.90 a month. Call 1-866-NEED-AOL or go to aol.com slash high speed. Want a better high speed internet? You belong at AOL. From the guys who brought you Anchorman and the 40-year-old virgin. I'm a driver. That's what I am. Sorry, man! Comes the story of a man with a dream. I'm gonna win. That just won't die. Help me, help me, Jesus! Help me, Tom Cruise! Will Ferrell. Uh-oh. Halladega Nights, a ballad of Ricky Bobby. Is he ever gonna be able to walk? He's fine. You don't think I'm paralyzed? Don't you stick that knife in your leg? Hmm? Ah!
Rated PG-13 in theaters August 4th. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Pepsi. It's the cola by the new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme at Taco Bell. It's good to go. And by Chevy, baseball's number one fan. Chevy, an American revolution. Hey, look, it's the first pitch at the bottom of the first inning, and Soriano goes after it and flies it to Ichiro in right. One pitch, one out. Once again, let's give you another look at the lineup for the National League. It's brought to you by Taco Bell. Soriano didn't last long. Then it's Beltron batting second. Albert Pujol sitting third. Jason Bay, the Pirate, clean it up. Then it's Edgar Renteria, replacement for Jose Reyes. David Wright, Reyes' teammate with the Mets. Chase Utley, Paul Loduca, and Brad Penny is pitching and batting ninth here at the start. The ball inside to Beltron with one out, nobody on. Kenny would have to throw from 40 feet 6 inches to throw as hard as Brad Penny did in the top half of this inning. That is not Kenny Rogers' game. But here's a 41-year-old left-hander getting his first All-Star game start. Brad Penny, a strikeout pitcher. Kenny Rogers, a contact pitcher. The 1-1. Out in front of it is Beltron. That's strike two. Carlos, a much better year, his second time around with the Mets. Last year struggled, a lot of pressure, trying to stay healthy. This year, number six in the National League with his 25 RBIs, and number seven with his 68, rather 25 home runs, and number seven with his 68 RBIs. Waits for a 1-2. Carlos Beltran, one of three New York Mets with over 20 home runs at the All-Star break. No New York team has had three men on their roster at the All-Star break with three players over 20 home runs. That is hard hit and fair past third, past the diving Rodriguez. Beltran will dig for second, no play, as Vladimir Guerrero dropped it in left, and there's the first hit, a double by Carlos Beltran. Not a lot of room between Alex Rodriguez and the third base line. Beltron, hard to believe you can hit a ball down there and keep it fair. But he hit it so hard that Rodriguez couldn't come up with it. So Beltron in scoring position for Albert Pujols. He was in his sixth season and fifth All-Star game. Pujols has done some amazing things in a short time with the St. Louis Cardinals. One of just four players in baseball history to have 100 or more RBIs in each of his first five seasons. An RBI chance here in the first, and he takes a strike from Kenny Rogers. The reigning MVP in the National League. And since he joined the Cardinals in 2001, that's where he ranks across Major League Baseball in those categories. Staggering production. And he gets under and pops it into center. Out goes Jeter. Derek Jeter, the shortstop, takes it in, two down. Our pitcher profile for Kenny Rogers is brought to you by Exxon and Mobile Retailers. We talked about how Brad Penny is throwing so hard. Well, Kenny Rogers throws hard, but induces ground balls. Excellent move to first base. Two tough hitters in Soriano and Pujols retired in this inning. Well, the stage is set for Jason Bay. In his second All-Star game, but appearing at the plate for the first time. Didn't get in the game last year. Beltron at second, two out, and check swing foul. Here's a guy who was basically made himself into one of the top hitters in the National League. A guy who bounced around and was traded three times. Originally a draft pick by Montreal. He is Canadian. Came to the Pirates and his career is taken off. Trail British Columbia. One ball, one strike. Number two vote getter in the National League is Jason Bay. A huge push here in Pittsburgh and obviously beyond to get him into the starting lineup. 
The 1-1. One, one. Ripped. First Pirate to start an All-Star game since Andy Van Slyke in 1993 is in the hole one and two. Andy Van Slyke, now Jim Leland's first base coach for the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit Tigers with the best record in baseball over the first half of the season. And the best story in baseball. Oh, man. 59 and 29 at the break. Two games better than the White Sox. Here's a one, two. High and tight, two and two. Fifth time Pittsburgh has hosted the All-Star game. And they would love to see one of their Pirates put the National League on top. The two, two. Pretty good rip. Sixty six RBIs that Bay has at the break the second most by any pirate since 1975. Ryan Giles had 72 back in 2000 and Brad Brad Penny is sitting there wondering if he's going to take a lead out with him. He starts the second. Good pitch by Rogers. Tricked him on a pitch down and away. Took something off, and the inning is over. A one-out double by Beltran. He's left out there, and after one in the All-Star game, no score. If you're interested, there's a future for you in the beverage distribution industry. It's the hot thing in activewear. Bengay's Ultra Strength Pain Relieving Patch. Now even stronger for deep heating relief. And it lasts up to eight hours. Try the Ultra Strength Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what's hot in pain relief. This summer, America's favorite pastime is watching America's greatest hero. Superman Returns. Rated PG-13, now playing. Here's to men, to guys who want to take longer drives with fewer pit stops. And here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Flomax may help symptoms like going often, going urgently, weak stream, Frequently waking up at night to go. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Upon standing, a sudden decrease in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. To learn more, call 866-4-FLOMAX. Ask your doctor. Flomax could make a difference in one week. Welcome to the Stackers Union, kid. We built stacks of meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. Hey, what's this? A single? We have no single! Get some more meat down here now! Okay. Fuck the meat! The meat! Get this meat off of me! New BK Stacker. Bacon and cheese on flame broiled beef. Stack it high, tough guy. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Tonight's aerial coverage is brought to you by Goodyear's new Eagle Tire with Response Edge technology featuring a carbon fiber reinforced sidewall for enhanced performance. Off we go into the second inning. Alex Rodriguez first up. The rain visits us again here at PNC Park. And Brad Penny, who struck out the side in the first inning. Gets strike one on Alex Rodriguez. Pedro Martinez back in 99, Tim talked about it, struck out the first four hitters he faced in that All-Star game at Fenway. That is an All-Star game record. The 
The 0 1 to Rodriguez. 0 and 2. Nothing but fastballs so far. We have never seen this type of velocity from Brad Penny over the years, whether with the Marlins or in his time with the Dodgers. Rodriguez flies one foul off to the right. That's out of play. Yeah, that, that's one of the big indicators right there. You see a last year's MVP in the American League is Roy Oswald is warming for the National League. But he, A. Rod's the MVP of last year's New York Yankees, and here he is fouling balls so futilely off to the right. There's a breaking ball from Penny. Ball one. That was wicked. <laughs> Now the one two to Rodriguez. Just trying to make contact. I'm sure a lot of people in New England have thought uh, what if Pedro Martinez had worked against that National League lineup for nine innings back in 1999. He may have struck out 20. Same thing with Penny tonight. I mean overwhelming stuff. Rodriguez pops one back and out of play. Alex Rodriguez has gone through a stretch now where they are on him pretty hard at Yankee Stadium. I was thinking today for a guy like Rodriguez who has always made the safe quote and a guy who's always tried to be politically correct, a guy who's been a phenomenal baseball player in his big league career, there's no way hearing what he's hearing from the Yankee Stadium crowd is not affecting him. He waits for a 1-2 pitch from Penny. Grounds to short. Renneria got a weird hop. One down. After that electric first inning, Brad Penny came over to the dugout bench, and Bronson Arroyo, his teammate, had this to say to him. You, you don't let it go like that when you're starting, right? Yeah, but not in the beginning of the game. Yeah, I know. I can't. I, I rarely, I, I rarely ever, I say, if I'm down, if, it's like seventh inning. This close down my run up by run is the only time I ever let it go all the way, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, dude, you'd be, you'd be wiped out if you did that for seven innings. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's got two innings tonight, and he misses with a ball one inside to Guerrero. Seventh time that Vladimir Guerrero has been an all-star. Four out of 13 in all-star game at bats to this point. He's late on that. One ball, one strike. Vladimir saw his Anaheim Angels Beat the Oakland Athletics three out of four to move to within two games of the Rangers and Athletics that are tied. Both those two teams tied for the American League West. On one and one, Guerrero hits it into deep right field. That's well hit. Back at the track, at the wall, it's gone. Into the seats in short right field here at PNC, and Vladimir Guerrero has gone deep to put the AL on top one to nothing here in the second. First All-Star Game home run for Vladimir Guerrero. Such tremendous reach, long arms, fastball out of the strike zone. He just overpowered the other way. How do you hit that? How do you hit it the other way with such power and force? That's why he's a seven-time All-Star. A 98-mile-an-hour fastball up around his letters, and he takes it out the opposite way. And now a ball inside to Ivan Rodriguez. When you talk about Vladimir Guerrero, and the first thing that any scout will tell you is his tremendous plate coverage is unlike any they've seen. There's a line drive caught by Utley, two out. There's still some kids up. It's compliments of the Wiggles for all the kids out there. Our friends from Australia. Two out, nobody on, and the batter is Vernon Wells. This was more around the shoulders part of the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Here's 
Here's a 1 0 pitch. Wells takes it on the inside corner. Here is a tremendous athlete who has been overlooked for a long time patrolling the outfield for the Toronto Blue Jays. And he hits the ball into center field. It'll drift into the glove of Beltron for out number three. But in the inning, our first run of the night. And Mr. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, took one up around his shoulders and somehow hit this one out to right. One to nothing AL after an inning and a half. Subway Dinner Theater presents the dad who tried to make dinner. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for the musical. And for dinner, Subway restaurants. And the delicious new bourbon chicken sandwich. Tender chicken in a zesty sauce. Hot and fresh from the oven on freshly baked bread. Subway, eat fresh. I had acid. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Buck. How you doing? Oh, what a voice. <sighs> it's like... It's pure like baseball. Velvet mixed with peanut butter. Yeah. Would it be all right if I touched your throat while you said something? Okay. Okay. If you could just say swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. <laughs> that is oh. awesome. You guys got to try it. Go ahead. Okay. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. No. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Guys, I'm going to take the stairs. I'm going to take the stairs. Guys, I'm, I'm going to take, take the stairs. Guys. Wherever you're going, there's a car company that wants you to get more out of a gallon of gas. Chevy. Nine out of ten cars we sell get an EPA-estimated 30 highway miles per gallon or better. Here's one that doesn't. But it still gets 26 MPG highway. Chevy. We're taking a full tank further. That's an American revolution. World, the time has come to... Cause there's a party over here, so you might as well be here with the people care. Don't hold back. The wedding ring. The newlyweds. You know, I've never been a jewelry guy, but wearing this just makes me feel like I'm carrying around a little piece of you every day. The wedding ring. The not-so-newlyweds. Brad Garrett in Till Death. Premieres Thursday, September 7th on Fox. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Budweiser Select. Brewed longer for a bold taste that finishes clean. Expect everything. Welcome back to Pittsburgh as we move to the bottom of the second. Edgar Renteria first up representing the Atlanta Braves. One to nothing AL and a changeup has Renteria way out in front from Kenny Rogers. He was more of a finesse type pitcher and Renteria who's hitting 318 for Atlanta. Deals with an 0-1. Takes it low. Atlanta, the Braves have won 14 straight division titles. They headed to the break hot, but 13 games out behind the Mets. The 1-1 one, one to Renteria. 2-1. Edgar Renteria taking the place of Jose Reyes, who is injured. And what a disappointment that is to everybody. Uh, a young shortstop, only 23 years old, making his first All-Star start. And what a talent he is. Phenomenal. Down and in, three balls and a strike. And there is Jose Reyes, who, even though he can't play because of seven stitches on the pinky on his left hand, Wanted to be here. Same for his teammate, Tom Glavin, who bowed out after starting on Sunday. 3-1. That's hard hit with foul. Here's why Jose Reyes is not playing tonight. Says if he can avoid it, he's never going to do this again. Getting spiked by Jacobs of the Marlins trying to dive hand first into first base. 
A 3-2 from Rogers and Renteria chops it foul. Kenny Rogers is the first Tiger to start an All-Star game since Jack Morris did it in 1985 at the Metrodome. Four-time Gold Glove Award winner, and this is his fourth All-Star game, first start. And after this inning, he will head out of here. Brandon Webb and Roy Oswald now getting loose for the National League side. Back to the Gold Glove Award winner. One down. Let's check in with Kevin Kennedy. Joe uh, thinks a lot. Hey, Brad, second pitcher ever in the history of the All-Star game to strike out the side in the first inning. Pedro Martinez, the other one. For your first appearance, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I felt good. Uh, it was a little different situation for me. I knew I had two innings, and I didn't have to pace myself to get through six or seven or eight. So I was just going out there challenging him, you know, for the most part, throwing fastballs, and uh, felt pretty good. I don't think it's any disrespect that Vladdy goes deep because he's got like a 34-inch strike zone. <laughs> Yeah, and he hits everything I throw, you know, in the past. He's, he's, he's been crushing me lately. You got a, two knocks in, in Anaheim last week. But uh, he's a great hitter, and, and he took advantage of a short right field. And great yeah, now you're, oh, and now you're back in the up. game. You're off the hook, Brad. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot, Brad. Right. Congratulations. Joe, back up there. All right, Kevin. Well, while you two were talking, David Wright, the 23-year-old stud third baseman from the Mets, took a delivery and shot it over the wall and left to tie this game at one. The other piece of the electrifying left side for the New York Mets, we got Reyes at short, David Wright at third, and this thing was hammered. Well, David Letterman is watching right now, and I'll guarantee you tomorrow night they'll be showing this on David Letterman <laughs> because David Wright's going to be on Letterman, one David to another, and did he ever top hand that ball? Wow. They finally make the Letterman show for all those Letterman drop-ins right now. <laughs> Just rolling the top hand and showing his power. He finished second last night in the home run derby. And how exciting is the future for the New York Mets? Utley gets a pretty good swing at that pitch. And the count evens at a ball and a strike. You've got a 23-year-old shortstop and a 23-year-old third baseman. We came into this season talking about Jeter and A-Rod for the Yankees and may go out of this season We're talking about Reyes and Wright for the New York Mets. There's Jeff Wilpon of the New York Mets, and they've got a lot to be happy with in that injury. And a 12-game lead in the National League East over the Philadelphia Phillies. Game and a half shy of the 13 and a half game lead they had back in 1986 at the All-Star break. Here's a 2-1 to Utley. Good pitch, 2-2. Two two. Ozzie Guillen naming his starter Kenny Rogers, and of course he pitches for the rival now, Detroit Tigers, and he said, Kenny Rogers is my starter, and he's going to pitch 10 innings. <laughs> Trying to wear down one of the game's best. Here's a 2-2. Two two. Utley. Nice try by Rogers. Jeter can't get it to first in time, and it's an infield hit for Chase Utley, and it's more for you about David Wright. Hi, I'm David Wright, third baseman for the New York Mets. I am from Chesapeake, Virginia, and Virginia is for lovers. I might be number five, but my favorite show is 24. 24 keeps you on the edge of your seats, and the suspense is crazy. Jack Bauer's a man. I mean, he always finds a way to get out of sticky situations. For some reason, I like to rock the pastel shirts. Wait a minute. This isn't pastel. Well, now you know two things. A, we played that because he mentioned 24. And B, not only is the guy a great player, but you can just see with the smile he has on his face, whether it's here at the All-Star Game or daily for the New York Mets, this is a marketable young player that the Mets can hang out. His mother, Alicia, Alicia, and his father, Ron, here with his three younger brothers. And all are good baseball players, we pa understand. Paulo Duca, Tim, was the batting practice pitcher, the home run derby pitcher for David Wright last night and now he's at the plate also representing the Mets and Rogers has even the count the ball and a strike. Ozzie Guillen talking about the desire to get out in front and then use his great bullpen. Names like Liriano and Santana and then the closers. Rogers starts it beautifully turn one six three to end the second. We're tied one one couple of home runs in the all star game. ALNL back after this from your local Fox station.
It's a starry, starry night in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Corey McFerrin. Will Ozzie and the AL Stars win home field advantage for the World Series again? And which Chicago Stars will shine? The answers plus pictures and highlights coming up after the game right here on Fox News Chicago. I'm about to give my Paris a McDonald's wake-up call from Cheap Trick. Let McDonald's wake you to something delicious, like any two biscuit sandwiches for just $3. Usable interior space in its class. The next Nissan Quest, part of the next generation of Nissan thinking. If you had a mouse in your home, you'd trap it. If you had bugs, you'd trap them. Well, you have things like dust mite debris, bacteria, pollen, and mold spores circulating in the air in your home. A Filtrate high-performance filter traps 90% of them. An ordinary filter, just 20%. 90 versus 20. It's your home. Trap them. Filtrate filters. Clean the air you breathe. think you should always get a seat. Now you can. Introducing Mileage Plus Choices, only from the United Mileage Plus Visa Card. Good for any available seat on any United flight with no blackout dates. Learn more today at united.com. Chase. stability control helps maintain traction to keep you on the road so nothing else has to the 2007 rx 350 lease at 449 a month for 36 months for 3549 due at signing is available for a limited time at your lexus dealer mcdonald's invites you to join the hunt with disney's pirates of the caribbean dead man's chest now in theaters get a big mac uncover the code and you can win great prizes including a new volvo treasure is only a big mac away We get ready for the third inning in this all-star game. It's time for the Burger King Have It Your Way home field advantage. This beautiful ballpark from the city of Pittsburgh looking across. The Roberto Clemente Bridge not only provides a scenic backdrop, but it's also a convenient way for fans to arrive to the game on game days. No car traffic on that bridge. You can get across the Allegheny and check out Pirates baseball and for tonight, all-star baseball. Remember, you can always have it your way at Burger King. Here in the third inning, it's Roy Oswald tanking over from the Houston Astros, and he hits the outside corner with strike one to Mark Loretta. A replacement was Oswald, his manager Phil Garner, naming him to the team, and he will deal with Loretta, a pinch hitter, and Ichiro. Here in the third. To the right side for Pujols, a bad hop and a barehanded grab, one out. Oh, boy. How about that? That's a page out of David Wright's book. Last year, David Wright over the shoulder caught it barehanded. Watch this. Just throw your glove away. Forget it. <laughs> Here's a guy who in his first All-Star game ended the game playing second base. He can play all over, and he is very underrated defensively at first. You're right. And he actually cracked a smile, which is allowed in the All-Star game. I know it counts. I know it counts, but you can smile in the All-Star game. Here are the numbers for Oswald. Penny went two, allowed a run on one hit, the Guerrero home run. Here's Maglio Ordonez batting for Kenny Rogers. Strike one. Maglio has had a rebirth. He's finally healthy. The lower half of his body is healthy. It's improved his bat speed. And he is a big reason why the Tigers are having fun again. One ball, one strike. Roy Halliday is getting loose for the American League.
Roy Oswald, the 1-1, one, 2-1. One. A lot of people in Chicago saying, well, why let Maglio Ordonez go a couple of years ago? Well, the reason for that is they signed Jermaine Dye. And Jermaine Dye, uh, not only an all-star, but one of the most proficient hitters in the major leagues this year. And the most productive right fielder swing in the bat in 2006. That is outside three and one. Three and one on Ordonez. Who had a great four year stretch with the White Sox, 99 through 2002, averaging about 125 RBIs a year. That's on the corner, full count. <laughs> Ordonia strikes out. First two are gone here in the third inning. Ken Rosenthal from FoxSports.com has been joining us on Fox Saturday Baseball. It's been great to have him, and he's with us tonight in the All-Star Game. Turn around and tell that guy to sit down behind you. You got a guy breathing down your neck, but tell us all about Ichiro. Well, Joe, Ichiro is only 32. He's headed for a six straight 200-hit season. He's generally going to get the 10 years of dominance that voters want from their Hall of Fame candidates. And keep in mind, he began his career in Japan. What a step it would be for the game's internationalization the day this guy takes the podium in Cooperstown. Yeah, and you start, Kenny, looking at his numbers. They're piling up. They're more impressive every year. As I said earlier, he answers the bell every day, and he has almost freakish hand-eye coordination. And he's also one of those guys, Tim, and, and you saw him. I think Gwynn was in the category. Wade Boggs was in the category of somebody who could hit more home runs if it was a priority. But that's not the way he approaches hitting at the big league level. I've never seen anybody hit successfully like this. 3-0. Oh. What, moving around in the yeah, way moving, he... Moving around, the head's moving all the time, but the bat is always back. Swinging on 3-0. Here's that swing, high leg kick. Guy's just got tremendous balance. We saw him walking through the tunnel today, and, and you know, he conjures up thoughts of a ballet dancer when he walks. And he's on, maybe. That ball stays in the air for a long time, and Bay makes a nice catch around the shoot tops. Bottom of the third inning in Pittsburgh, still tied, 1-1. If you're a fraction off, it can change everything. On the field and in the lab, where Gatorade scientists test and retest athletes so we know exactly what their bodies demand. Precision counts. Out there. And in here. Intelligent key technology that knows you. Nissan Maxima, part of the next generation of Nissan thinking. Whoa, these spicy chicken Crunchwrap Supremes are spicy. Mm, spicy and grilled, so they're good to go. Spicy and good to go, have a sip of my soda. <laughs> or so tasty, I'm good to go get another one. <laughs> or good to go get a job. <laughs> The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices with melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell tastes. Loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled so it's good to go. For a spicier way to go, think outside the bun. There's undercover and then there is which way is up? On July 28th. You afraid of violence? Violence is real expensive. It's not how you get in. They discovered my guys were undercover. But how you get out. By any vice. Rated R. I was just getting to the good part when Uncle Ernie dropped his tons. I'd seen that look before. It was heartburn. Before you could say duck sauce, I was there with my Pepsi Complete. I told him only Pepsi Complete starts to neutralize acid on contact and keeps heartburn from coming back all day or all night. 
In no time, Uncle Ernie was in Mooshu heaven. And I had my eye on a spicy dumpling. Pepsi complete. Just one and heartburn's done. Sometimes kids just don't see it. Steroids can ruin bones, tendons, organs, and dreams. Talk to your kids about the dangers of steroids. Visit drugfree.org. Waiting out in the Allegheny River for maybe an All-Star Game souvenir. Something from Huck Finn and some kayaks. The temperature of that water out there in the Allegheny, 72 degrees at last check. And Roy Halladay will take over. The Cy Young Award winner from the Toronto Blue Jays regarded as one of the best, not the best, right-handed starter in the game. And here's your rare Halliday holiday matchup as Matt Holiday from the Colorado Rockies steps in to hit for Oswald. Takes a pitch down and away, ball one. Phil Garner is the manager of the National League side. First of all, Phil, have we put you in a place where you can actually see the action? <laughs> Well, thanks. You gave me a short leash down here, and I'm wandering all over the place trying to uh, pick out a spot where I can see. We uh, we don't want to bug you too much as Holiday grounds out. I know that you've got your work cut out for you in a game like this where you're balancing getting everybody that you can into the game yet keeping people back in case we end up in an extra inning game. Well, unfortunately, when you're trying to win the ball game and you, and you uh, might have to go extra innings, then obviously somebody's not going to get a chance to play if you don't go extra innings. So there's probably going to be three or four pitchers that have a chance of not pitching in this game. And that's unfortunate. And there'll be a, a, perhaps a position player or two that, uh, that might not get into the game. Phil, I'm sure that there are a lot of people listening in uh, wondering about Roger Clemens and his stuff so far this year. He's been absolutely fantastic, Tim. The man's amazing. I, I, I feel like he's... Uh, I, I don't know if you could say the man's hitting his prime or not, but he's certainly doing a fantastic job. Uh, you know, with a little better offensive support, he could be, he could be playing all right now. Phil, you got Soriano on. We we took a listen to your pregame speech. You said if what you do is run, go ahead and run. And and this is that matchup that we talked about before the game of Soriano on at first and the great Ivan Rodriguez behind the plate. Well, and, and this is where. Uh, you know, if you're playing a regular game and you've got the top of your lineup coming up and the guy that throws like Rodriguez, you'd say don't go. But this is an all-star game. I, I'm sure people are as excited as I am if, if uh, Soriano decides to run. We're going to see what, and here we go. He's off and going. Let's see what it is. He's got it. Okay. Oh, that's what people love to see that. I like seeing that. That's, that's got you uh, happy yeah. down there in the dugout. Oh, yeah, we like that. Let's go. He may not be through either, right, Phil? Uh, hey, uh, we have no stop sign. <laughs> so, hey, you run until somebody tags you out. You have no this, sign. This is, this is old Little League ball right here. Do you have any signs, period? No, we have no signs. Uh, the whole the whole idea here is, uh, and, and you heard us talking, and, and you saw the little uh, pregame speech, you know, these are all-star guys. Instructor stuff, and then you do what you do. If what you do is run, and Soriano's got great speed, you do, you do your thing. There are no 3-0 and o counts, you know, where you might take it if you're down a couple runs. I'm sure everybody wants to see Carlos Beltran hit. You want to see Jason Bay hit here in Pittsburgh, and, and I love to watch Albert Pujols hit. Look at that ball. That's a bullet right there. We've got a great arm in center field. We're going to see what's going to happen here. Oh, no. He's... Oh. Well... At well, the play to Soriano, and there you go. There's yeah. a play from Vernon Wells in center. That's what this yeah. game is all, all about. Right. That's what it's about. Yeah, that's all we got to see. We saw a great play, a nice swing to bat, Tim. Yeah, that's the way to go. Phil, you've got a headset on. You can't even argue. <laughs> I'd have to argue that play right there. I told I told uh, Jerry I wasn't going to argue, but I'd have had to go out there and argue if this, this thing had been long enough. Sure looked to me like he was already on the plate. I'll at least stick my tongue out at it. <laughs> well, if you know, if it helps, just take the headset off and run out there. Okay. So here we are. You've got a runner at second. You've got Pujols at the plate. And, Bill, we all know the history. If there's one guy who's been a thorn in the side of your Astros, oh, it's boy. the guy at the plate, Albert Pujols. Well, one of our coaching staff said a few minutes ago, we, we've never seen him pop up before, except for his first at bat. That's, uh, we didn't know he could do that. So, uh, 
Well, he's got a run, another run in scoring position right here. Let's uh, let's see if he can do what he does best, and that's drive a run in. Beltron is out at second with two down in the inning. He's stealing third. The throw down yeah, is not in time. Okay. Well, that's what we do. Well, how are you on the? How's that rate on the Phil Garner meter? Were you happy he took off there? Is it worth the risk? Uh, well, I, I've had Carlos before, and I know that he is exceptional timing on his base stealing which what I mean by that is he rarely gets thrown out when he throw when he steals third he rarely gets thrown out he has an uncanny knack for pitching picking the right pitch uh, yeah it's you know from an old baseball ad it's just not a it's you know two outs and not not uh, a very I'd say high percentage play but look here how do you know what's going to happen that's it's smart playing it. that is smart playing right there that, you know what that just is as I was saying that well you know what that is that's just great managing <laughs> it is indeed nice going kid way to make something happen that'll be me. all right that'll be me. all right so there you go Beltron takes second on the throw home he steals third with two out pool holes up and he scores on a wild pitch well, I, you know, there's another side of this adage, you, uh, you know, the old baseball adage. You know, these going to throw uh, balls, a lot of breaking balls. Typically, what they do in these kind of situations, and uh, to turn out, he got one in the dirt. That's Phil. an old Chuck Tanner movie. He used to jump out when get a guy on say on uh, third and say, "What's for the ball in the dirt?" Sort of putting that idea in the pitcher and catcher's mind on the field. Phil, that's the National League's first lead since you played. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's been that long, huh? No, it's been since well, 2003, but there you are, up two to one in the third inning. That feels good, huh? Well, it does. I, I tell you, it's exciting to watch, uh, watch these big men go at it up here, and I'm sure that there's, the scoring's not done tonight. As great as our pitching is and theirs is, I'm sure there's more to be done here. Hey, thanks for your time, Phil, and have fun. That's okay. Phil Garner, manager of the National League side. His crew up two to one after three in Pittsburgh. On February 6th, AOL invited its members to be fast and switch from dial-up to true broadband. Since then, thousands of people every day have experienced the easy setup, the most comprehensive set of safety tools online, and content made to bring broadband to life. Now it's your turn to experience AOL High Speed. Get both AOL service and a broadband connection together for as low as $25.90 a month. Call 1-866-NEED-AOL or go to AOL.com slash high speed. Want a better high speed internet? You belong at AOL. Oh, here he is. Well, he's only two hours late this time. Hey, I'm surprised you still remember how to get here. Hey, Mom wants her shirt back. He brought beer. So I brought beer. Did you, son? Did you really? I, I had higher SATs. Baby Ruth is the candy bar for baseball guys. Guys who like peanuts, nougat, and caramel every bit as much as a Grand Slam. And if you're a woman who likes that stuff, want to go to a ball game? Baby Ruth from Nestle, official candy bar of Major League Baseball. On August 25th, discover how an ordinary bartender tried to become the most unlikely rookie in NFL history. Invincible, inspired by a true story, rated PG. Pickup and SUV. Gasoline and E85 ethanol. Paul and tow. The all-new 2007 Chevy Avalanche. The most flexible vehicle out there. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Chevy, baseball's number one fan, Chevy, an American Revolution. Our Subway Fresh Buzz trivia question. 25 fresh faces were selected to tonight's All-Star Game. What is the record for the most first-time selections? So there are 25 newcomers to this game here tonight. What's the record for the most? As we go into the fourth inning with the National League on top two to one, Jason Bay will move from right to left. He's used to playing out there in left. Matt Holliday is now in right field. And the new pitcher from the Arizona Diamondbacks is Brandon Webb. We talked about Brad Penny, the starter tonight, and how hard he throws. Brandon Webb has the best sinker in the game. 
bottom falls out of it. There's a strike on the outside corner to Derek Jeter. Jeter struck out his first time. Ortiz will follow and then Alex Rodriguez. Webb got off to a flying start. That one's on the outside corner and it's 0 and 2. Tapered off a little. Ozzie Gian is the manager of the American League side. And Ozzie, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ron. Uh, two to one here in the third inning. You and I talked, and Tim did as well, about you guys trying to get out in front to use that great bullpen. And the National League looked like looked like they're going to give you a fight tonight. Well, I think uh, you know they're playing the game the right way right now. I think uh, at the center field, they're trying to steal those two bases. Uh, you know, they'd be aggressions on the base pass, and uh, that's why they they up by by one. No balls, two strikes. Jeter fouls it. We talked to Phil Garner. He said he had no signs. We talked to you before the game, and you said that your signs are pretty basic. What are your signs tonight? Punt and run. That's it? <laughs> That's it. We don't have too many signs. I think with this lineup, I think they know, they know how to play the game. And, uh, you know, we're facing pretty good pitching staff. I think uh, we see how we do it. Hopefully we get on base. We can start uh, running people. It's down and in, one and two. How many calls did you get? How many calls did you make to other managers about who's available and who isn't, which pitchers are available to pitch, and, and which you'd like to keep out of this game? Well, it's, uh, we talked to the Boston Red Sox. Uh, you know, uh, Papa Gomez, uh, it was a little tender. Uh, he was up four times uh, last weekend, and, you know, he pitched a lot of innings, and you know, I talked to you know, I talked to him about it. I tried to stay away from him. And uh, Jose Contreras, uh, so did Jose, I think. We tried to get uh, Kurt Schilling on the game, but, you know, he was uh, also a he was kind of he pitched last Sunday and he got the same problem. He got hit by uh, by a batted ball. I, I know that <laughs> you spoke with Schilling. Everything okay there between the two of you? Yeah, everything is great. I think my hat to him because that line's dry. I thought he got to keep me out of the game. All the time he struck out the next two batters, but he got smoked pretty good. Two balls, two strikes. Jeter is fooled way out in front. He's gone to start this fourth inning. You told us before the game that you're going to manage this, Ozzy like it is the seventh game of the World Series because at some point, somebody in that locker room that, that you're managing tonight, whether it's all the White Sox you brought with you or somebody else, is going to get an advantage if the AL wins this evening. Uh, this is an important game for everyone. I think the sort of National League manager think the same way. I think this is a big game for for the field advantage in, in, in the World Series. Hopefully, uh, we continue to, to, to play good against these uh, National League players. and. That's a really important for us. I think uh, it's a pride, and besides, besides the, is that the field manager? Is the American League that much better this year? I'm not talking about within this game, but just talent-wise in the way that the AL dominated interleague play this season. Well, you look at this, these ball clubs. A lot of young talent on the field right now. I think right now the way uh, people, the general manager, build the ball clubs in this league is amazing. You know, what I mean, every every lineup is pretty strong. And uh, it's one thing about it, you know, I think every year a manager tried to compete like in Boston and New York. Obviously, they bring the best lineups uh, to the game. And if you want to win the American League, uh, you better uh, bring a good stuff because they have the Detroit Tigers build a great ball club and, and you got to compete against those guys all year long. Meanwhile, Ozzy, this has got to be a tough hitter for Brandon Webb because to be successful, he's got to keep it down or tease a low ball hitter. Well, it's going to be Poppy's. Uh, He's one of the best clutch hitting in the game. You know, I, I ride a pitch to Manny Ramirez, pitch to face him. You know, when these kids is uh, is locked in, it's, it's real danger. Hey, in a little bit, we are going to honor one of the game's all-time all-time greats, not just players, but humanitarians, Roberto Clemente. What what did his legacy mean to you as a player? Wow, uh, I think this guy bring open the door for a lot of Latin people. I think when Clemente grew up in the game, it was a lot of a lot of problem uh, about colors and, and be a Latino. And then, you know, these guys, a lot of people know what he did on the field and uh, the way he died. But I think uh, the, the way Roberto Clemente was treating people, the way Roberto Clemente went for, about his business, uh, is a nice example by every, not the Latin players, but everybody played the game. Earlier in the year during the World Baseball Classic when Alex Rodriguez, who's walking to the plate, was changing his mind as to which side he would play for, Dominican, the USA, you took a shot at him, and I've read where you said that is one of the most regretful moments you've had in your time in the big league. Well, I tried to help him, you know, because he got a cut between representing the Dominican Republic and the uh, United States, and then, you know, I, I talked to him before that in New York, and I tried to help him, all the song I just killed him. I, I think I regret it because I put Alex in the spot, hanging on his family, the New York fans, New York organization in the spot it should be. And, uh, you know, everything was good. Uh, everything was clear. 
Uh, I just I thought Alex just had to represent uh, United States because he's born, raised, go to school. It's, it's always nice being here. His mother and his, uh, his family, they are Dominican, but, you know, he just grew up in this country. Ozzy, thanks for your time as always, and good luck to your White Sox in the second half of the season. Thank you, guys. All right, that's Ozzy Gein. It's 2-1 to one NL as we played three and a half. What's your favorite brand, America? We love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, and Chevrolet. Stolen bases, goat cheese, pizza, bottled water, and Chevrolet. Free agents, rally monkeys, Pepsi, Lee's, and Chevrolet. Whoa, wait, what's a rally monkey? They go together in the good old USA. Face painters, satellite radio, and your and Chevrolet. Chevy, an American revolution. This summer, pirates rule the sea, but snakes rule the sky. Everybody buckle up now! On August 18th, sit back, relax, oh my God. and enjoy the fright. Let's go! Snakes on a plane. Do as I say, and you live. Summer's not get ready. It starts August 18th. Do you think this is the best coffee in the world? Hmm? Flights to Venice to try the coffee. Zero dollars. Flights to Istanbul, Kona, and Seattle to try the coffee. Zero dollars. Now this is the best. The pie is great too. Best in the world. Traveling for any reason at all. Priceless. Use your MasterCard and you could win 500 round-trip tickets anywhere in the world to share with anyone. Savoy Dinner Theatre presents My Hero. The compelling story of how the tasty turkey breast with honey mustard and cucumber sandwich swept an entire nation off its feet. Subway, eat fresh. Still no air. We're burning up in here, man. What are you doing? No, touch life. Agree? No touch. No touch! No touch life. When the situation calls for cold refreshment, call for Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. Taste the cold. Ah! No touch. Are you getting enough fiber? Goodyear's new Eagle Response Edge gives you more of what you crave. The added performance of carbon fiber. A carbon fiber reinforced sidewall creates added stability for sharp maneuvering and a better feel for the road. While a shock absorbing insulator delivers a smooth, quiet ride. The new Goodyear Eagle Response Edge. Getting your fiber has never been so fun. Innovation on the wings of Goodyear. Once again tonight, Subway Fresh Buzz trivia question is 25 fresh faces were selected to tonight's All-Star Game. What is the record for the most first-time selections? As the fastball is low to Jason Bay. And the trivia question answer is 1988 and 2003. 32 first-time selections. Bay takes a rip at that pitch delivered by Halliday and the count evens at a ball and a strike. And Yet again, Tim, we've been separated in the All-Star game. Hi, Joe. Hi, Tim. How do you like it down there? It's nice. A lot better than being up there. <laughs> One ball, two strikes on Jason Bay. As we go along here in the bottom of the fourth inning, at the end of the inning, we will pull a podium out onto the field, and we will honor one of the all-time greats in the history of this game favorite here in Pittsburgh, Roberto Clemente. Favorite now is Jason Bay, and he's on with that look like a hanging breaking ball down here, Tim, from Halliday, and he singles into left center field to start the bottom of the fourth. I could that, be wrong. And that stirs the crowd here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, it was. It was a breaking ball. Not a bad pitch from Halliday. He didn't make too many hanging curveball pitches. A little up, and Bay smacks it to center. So the leadoff man is on for the National League for the first time tonight. Renteria takes low ball one. Halliday is the second pitcher of the night. Rogers went two, allowed a run on three hits. No walks, a strikeout. 
Allowed the home run to David Wright. He's standing in the on-deck circle. To the right side, Loretta. Jeter. 4-6-3, double play. Two out, nobody on here in the fourth. And that will bring the aforementioned David Wright to the plate. Just raining a little bit down here, Tim. It is. Yeah. Sorry you wore your light-colored suit. A little bit. I think it's well made, though. I don't think it'll unravel. <laughs> but you never know. It'd be fun to find out. Wright hit a line drive home run over the wall and left his first time up. And I think it's becoming more and more obvious, Tim, that David Wright is not phased by anything. No. This against Kenny Rogers in the second inning. That tied the game. As David Wright puts the National League on the scoreboard. That's right. It tied the game at two. And then that manufactured run in the bottom of the third as we were joined by Phil Garner who held his breath while Beltron stole third with two out and Pujols up, and then Carlos scored on a wild pitch to make it two to one. Good game, well-pitched game, and that's not a surprise with the list that each manager has to go to here in Pittsburgh tonight. Two one. Three and one. The Red Hot New York Mets, Beltron and Wright, Couple of their representatives here tonight, three for three with a home run, a single, a double, and two runs. Wright hits it to Jeter. That'll do it for the National League. They send three to the plate. And we will come back with our ceremony in just a moment from PNC Park here in Pittsburgh. Wherever you're going, there's a car company that wants you to get more out of a gallon of gas. Chevy. Nine out of ten cars we sell get an EPA-estimated 30 highway miles per gallon or better. Here's one that doesn't, but it still gets 26 MPG highway. Chevy, we're taking a full tank further. That's an American revolution. Hey, Joe, remember we met on the elevator? We met you like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. How are you guys? Um, I don't, Zach um, does a really good Joe Buck. You've got to hear it's it. It's not that great. You've got to hear it. It's why incredible. Why do you do this? Do it. Not, he winds up for the pitch. It's a screwball. Wait, who's talking? Is that Joe or Zach? And he's out of there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay. I think, no, no. Okay, let's just let's just bring it down a notch, all right? Why don't, why don't I get five? You guys have some work to do in your room or anything? Or? No, all no. done. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Subway, play hard, eat fresh. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here in Pittsburgh, as the game's best players gather on the field, Major League Baseball stops to remember a man who symbolized excellence both on the field and off the baseball diamond. There have been nine recipients of the Commissioner's Historic Achievement Award, all recognized for the tremendous accomplishments on the field of play. But tonight, for the first time, this award takes on an even deeper significance to honor not only a great baseball player, but to honor a life committed to helping others, to honor a life well led. Here for the presentation, escorted by Hall of Famer Bill Mazeroski, please welcome the Commissioner of Baseball, Bud Selig, and the wife of Roberto Clemente, Mrs. Vera Clemente.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Major League Baseball, I am very pleased to have the privilege of presenting the Commissioner's Historic Achievement Award to Roberto Clemente. The Commissioner's Achievement Award is presented to a player or former player who has made an enormous historical impact on the game of baseball. Roberto Clemente has done that. Roberto was a legend not only in Pittsburgh, not only in the Latin American community, but he was a legend and still is throughout America and around the world. He was truly one of the game's all-time great players, a Hall of Famer with 3,000 hits, a 317 lifetime batting average, 14 all-star game appearances, 12 consecutive gold Glove Awards and named the 1971 World Series Most Valuable Player. More importantly, Roberto Clemente was and always will be remembered for his wonderful humanitarian efforts. Roberto Clemente was taken from his wife Vera, his children, and from all of us much too young while escorting a plane load of emergency supplies to earthquake victims in Nicaragua on December 31st, 1972. Roberto was a hero in every sense of the term. He was idolized by fans here in Pittsburgh and throughout America. Roberto will be remembered as long as the game of baseball is played. Vera, I want to thank you and your family for being with us tonight. And I am truly honored to present you with this award. On behalf of my husband, Roberto, and my family, I want to thank you for this great honor. And to all Roberto's fans from all, all over and from different generations, I want you to know that Roberto still loves you from heaven. Thank you, Vera. What a special moment here in Pittsburgh for the entire Clemente family. You guys having any fun here tonight? Let's go to the fifth inning of the 77th Major League Baseball All-Star Game. We'll continue right after this. It takes more than hard work to impress the king. It takes years of dedicating yourself to the flame, all day and all night. To be the king's favorite, you must be a flame-broiling, burger-making machine. And that's exactly what Earl is. A machine that forges 100% USDA-inspected beef into a Whopper. So here's to Earl and 50 years of making the king look good. Well, it's been a long day for Strahan. What a lovely shot. Yeah! Hey, maybe it's your deodorant. Let's start over. No, no, this time start with new Right Guard Sport deodorant, now packed with even more scent. Right Guard. Start right and right. 
You've seen how they play. There we go. Oh, Big Bobby. Now see how they live. What's up, yo? This is David Ortiz. With AT&T Home Turf. Visit SeeHowTheyLive.com for exclusive access into your favorite players' worlds. It has been all Colts today. Setting up again, third and five hey, now. you, come me. here. It's 28 to three. If you had an NFL Sunday ticket from DirecTV, you can watch up to 14 games every Sunday. So instead of watching this, you can watch my brother Eli play against the Cowboys. Oh, I've got to run. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll pass. Buy NFL Sunday Ticket. Get four months of our best programming package for free. There's good TV, there's better TV, and then there's direct TV. I trust you. There should be nothing hanging between us, especially not this. I don't know what you're talking about. Just wait. For Matt Saunders, the only thing crazier than dating a superhero... Don't lie to me! He's dumping one. Are you picking up with me? Uma Thurman. You rat! I got your back! Oh. Luke Wilson. You are headed for some serious trouble. I hear you, homegirl. I got it. What did you just call me? My super ex-girlfriend. Rated PG-13, July 21st. This time, I'm gonna be KG. All right, I'm D-Wade. Two, one, two. All day, baby. All day. What? Right, what? Ready, feet. In relief of Brandon Webb as... Vladimir Guerrero is the batter. Freddy Chance Sanchez is the shortstop. He'll hit in the number one spot. Arroyo, a trade from the Red Sox this spring for Willie Mo Pena. And what a year Arroyo's had. Wright and Sanchez collide, and it's Sanchez who makes the play in foul territory. I'm really surprised this doesn't happen more in all-star games. Collisions among middle infielders corner guys and you can see Sanchez almost pushing right out of the way to make the play so one out here in the fifth inning as my partner Joe Buck after a super job on the field returns for the play-by-play -play. good job thank you You're welcome that was nice really nice nice moment here in Pittsburgh and, you know you think about it's been over 30 years since Roberto Clemente played for these Pittsburgh Pirates, dying in 1972. Rodriguez hits it off the end of the bat. Two out. And young and old are here to honor Roberto Clemente here at PNC Park tonight. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Burger King, who reminds you to have it your way. By Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Gatorade. It's in the MLB. Is it in you? And by AOL. Want a better high-speed internet? You belong at AOL. Bronson Arroyo, who was wearing a microphone earlier, is through the first two hitters here in the fifth inning, 2-1. to one. The National League on top. Bronson, to whether it's been with his time here with the Pirates. By the way, they cut him loose. Had a great run with the Boston Red Sox, and now has been one of the main reasons why the Cincinnati Reds are right in the thick of the NL Central in the wild card chase. He is multi-talented. He gives up a base hit through the left side off the bat of Wells. And with two out, Wells is on here in the fifth inning, tying run aboard for the AL with Loretta coming up. You didn't know, Bronson Arroyo was named after the late actor, Charles Bronson. Had a pitching mound at his home as a kid. And that's what I talk about. He's multi-talented, released his first CD. He can play guitar, he can sing. Mark Loretta at the plate, standing in the way of a scoreless inning for Bronson Arroyo. Tying run on at first, two out, one ball, one strike. When you're from Key West, Florida, you do that very well. Play the guitar and sing. So if you were from Key West, Florida, you would play the guitar. I know you sing. Cheeseburgers in paradise, baby. One ball, one strike. Loretta lines one to short, up to get it. For the out, Freddy Sanchez. They love him here in Pittsburgh. Bronson Arroyo, take us to break. Today is going to be the day that we're going to throw back to you. Right now, you should have some.
all power with no ship shock. The next Nissan Maxima was CVT, part of the next generation of Nissan thinking. Prepare to enter the Optimus Hopper. Okay, we have parachute online. No, it's gonna have a picture right now. Now, if there is life, the Dutch will find it. What is he doing? What, what is that? Now we wait. I was just getting to the good part. When Uncle Ernie dropped his tons. Oh, I'd seen that look before. It was heartburn. Before you could say duck sauce, I was there with my Pepsi Complete. I told him only Pepsi Complete starts to neutralize acid on contact and keeps heartburn from coming back all day or all night. In no time, Uncle Ernie was in Mooshu heaven. And I had my eye on the spicy dumpling. Pepsi Complete. Just one and heartburn's done. Wow, I can't believe we're really going to meet Casey K. There he is. I wonder what he's like. a good time to have accident forgiveness. Part of Allstate, your choice auto insurance. I'm super sorry about your car. Are you in good hands? From the creator of White Chicks and Scary Movie comes the wildest, funniest, most hilarious movie of the year. If one more person pinches my face, I'm gonna go crazy. Ah, he's got my nose! Little Man, rated PG-13. Opens every day on Friday. An important lesson I learned is to never give up. Major League Baseball and the Boys and Girls Clubs of America teach kids the importance of never giving up. Big kid, big effort, big smile. I guess that's why they call me Big Pop. Major League Baseball is a proud sponsor of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Together, they create a positive place for kids. <laughs> We are halfway through this 77th Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Joe Maurer, terrific young catcher from the Twins, takes over. Michael Young is in the lineup at second base. Out and left, Gary Matthews Jr. Takes over for Vladimir Guerrero and Grady Sizemore from not too far away. The Cleveland Indians is now in center and Barry Zito. The left-hander takes over. Rogers, Halliday, Zito. So many good power arms left for Ozzie Guillen to come out of the bullpen and Chase Utley is first up for the Phillies. This summary is brought to you by Nissan as Utley will lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. Vladimir Guerrero hit the home run his first in all-star game play. That got the scoring started. Then David Wright, the 23-year-old, tied it. And in the third inning, on a wild pitch, Beltron scoring the National League took its first all-star game lead since 2003. Utley singled his first time up. Loduca will follow. And then Holiday. Barry Zito is a free agent to be. Kenny Rosenthal is still with us. Ken, uh, A, do you see him getting traded before the end of the year? And B, where do you think he'll end up next year? Barry, I don't see him getting traded as far as that's concerned. But as a free agent, he recently switched agents from Arn Tellum to Scott Boris. He's going to leave Oakland. There's no question about that. One of the New York teams is going to be in there. The Dodgers, most baseball people believe it's going to be those three teams. If A.J. Burnett was five years, 55 million, Joe, what's this guy going to be? He's left-handed. He's far more accomplished. Start the bidding at about five years, 75 million. Maybe he doesn't need a new agent other than you. He's you pretty good. deal for him. That sounds good, though. Five years, 75 mil. That is a nice start. One ball, two strikes. Utley is jammed, and he pops it up into shallow right. Out is the second baseman, Michael Young, and he's there for out number one. Just so you know, if you're trying to score along with us at home, and I can barely do it here at the game, Michael Young is batting fifth. Maurer is hitting sixth. Matthews, seventh. Zito eighth and Grady Sizemore batting ninth, meaning he'll lead off in the sixth. So while we give it to you, maybe 
Phil Garner is trying to get through the same. It is not easy, and you constantly find yourself playing catch up in an all star game with these lineups. One out, nobody on, and Loduca rips it to third. Bad bounce. Rodriguez bounces it, and then David Ortiz, typically a DH, saves an error for Rodriguez. David played a few games uh, during interleague play, but Rodriguez recovering quickly, but threw it in the dirt. And a nice backhand pickup by David Ortiz. Well done. So Rodriguez, who won the AL MVP award last year, Ortiz, who finished a close second, is there to bail him out here in the fifth inning tonight. And with two out, nobody on, here is the second at bat for Matt Holliday, grounded out his first time up. It's on the inside corner, strike one. Fouled back, 0-2. Log on to foxsports.com slash contest slash baseball now for a chance to win apparel, a trip for two, a flat screen TV, and an all-new 2007 Chevy Avalanche in the 9 and 9 sweepstakes presented by Chevrolet. Holiday hits it in the air to left field. Back at the track near the wall for the final out as Gary Matthews Jr. hauls it in. Holiday gave it a ride and out in that little extra corner it came to rest in the glove of Gary Matthews, Jr. There's the reaction from the bench when David Ortiz made the scoop at first. Two to one after five, NL. The sure sign of summer. Budweiser Select. Brewed longer for a bold taste that finishes clean. Expect everything. Cause there's a party over here, so you might as well be here with the people everywhere are experiencing a breakthrough. I'm full! Taco Bell's Big Bell Value Menu featuring the spicy chicken burrito with shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices to keep your stomach and your wallet full. Think outside the bun. <laughs> Red Eye's making a bad impression. There's a Visine for that. Visine Advanced Relief soothes, refreshes, and cools with its three moisturizer formula. Red Irritated Eyes. There's a Visine for that. Hello, I'm a Mac. I'm a PC. Ready to get started? Well, not quite. Got a lot to do. What's your big plan? I might uh, make a home movie or maybe create a website, try out my built-in camera. I can do it all right out of the box, so what about you? Well, uh, first I gotta download those new drivers, and I gotta erase the trial software that came on my hard drive. Sweet. Then I've got a lot of manuals to read. You know, it sounds like you have a lot of stuff to do before you do any stuff, so I'm just gonna get started because I'm kind of excited. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Actually, the rest of me's in some other boxes, so I'll meet up with you later. I'm gonna be KG. All right, I'm due eight. Two, one. All day, baby, all day. Put it, wait, ready, three, Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I'll tell you what's coming, and you still won't hit it. Bring it then. Uh, why don't you try it on your hand? Want to keep the game going? Gatorade. Ready to lose again? Shut your big head up. <laughs> Is it in you? Last summer, he crashed weddings. Nice! This summer, Sorry to interrupt. he's crashing with the newlyweds. That's not good. No. You, me, and Dupree. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday. said they were going to do it and they've done it tonight the National League using its running game manufacturing a run back in the third to take the lead it's still two to one tonight's aerial coverage is brought to you by Goodyear's new Eagle tire with response edge technology featuring a carbon fiber reinforced sidewall for enhanced performance beautiful sight in a great ballpark one of the best in Major League Baseball here in Pittsburgh and Grady Sizemore his first at bat against a nasty left-hander, Brian Fuentes, from the Colorado Rockies. Brian McCann takes over behind the plate. Loduca is out. 
Sanchez moves to second base and David Eckstein takes over at short. Two to one National League top of the sixth. Oh and two. Brian Puente it can be very very nasty on left handed hitters. And I think Phil Garner uh, bringing in Puente intentionally to face Sizemore and Suzuki the two left handers. It's matchup time. And a good start for Fuentes to start this sixth inning. Here comes Ichiro. So far tonight, 0 for 2, but he leads the major leagues in hits this season. Has been on a tremendous run at the start of his career here in the United States. Representing the Mariners, doing it so well, takes a ball from Fuentes. Good time for Phil Garner to go to his left hander. He brings in Fuentes with Sizemore, the leadoff hitter. Now Ichiro. Jeter is on deck. I mentioned that Ichiro leads the major leagues in hits. He has 129 on the season. And he's trying to figure out this left-hander who is just nasty. And that will prove it that Ichiro, with his great swing, was that far out in front and cool. Watch the lower side of the body leave on the slider away. Not a left-handed hitter alive that likes that pitch. Here comes a 1-2. Ichiro grounds to short. Tough play. Eckstein has to use the arm. He got him. Two down. Eckstein, Tim, always has or seems to have just enough. He doesn't have a great arm, but he can make the play and the hard throw when he has to. Has the knack of knowing when to hurry and when not to. Good play. Last year, a starter for the National League. This year, replacing Renteria. He replaced in St. Louis when Renneria signed that big deal to go to the Red Sox. Had a rough year, committed 30 errors last year. Now he's more at home. Would seem back in the National League in Atlanta. And Eckstein is having a great year at short for Tony LaRusso. With two out, nobody on. Here is Jeter. And there is strike one from Brian Fuentes. out in front. What a good inning from Fuentes. His right finishes the play. Albert Pujols almost walked right into Jarek Jeter coming down the line. Bottom of the sixth inning already. Two to one. And Elk coming to bat. Chevy Impala SS with active fuel management, which means that a powerful 303 horsepower V8 also gets great highway mileage. Since Impala SS gives you eight cylinders for power and four cylinders for better fuel economy, there's also the security of a five-star frontal crash test rating. The Impala SS. It's a whole new animal. That's an American revolution. I was thinking, yeah. you know, sometimes you find something so special and you just want to hold on to it. Beautiful on the outside, sure but even more beautiful on the inside, and we just want to lock it up forever. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> These can liners really lock in that Rocky Mountain taste. <laughs> hey, uh, while you're up, grab me a beer. Every Coors Light can has a specially designed liner to lock in that frost-brewed Rocky Mountain taste. Please? Coors Light. Taste the cold. How do we know you spend more time behind the wheel than you want? And that often, what really needs refueling is you. How do we know you like fast better than slow? And that a friendly place to stop along the way can make a big difference in your life. How do we know? It's really very simple. The human touch and a thousand other things you need. We're Exxon. We're mobile. We're drivers too.
Introducing Red Zone Deep Cleansing Body Wash, the active formula with micro beads. Cleans deep down to the pore. I thought you said he was a fan. Old Spice Deep Cleansing Body Wash. Nothing cleans deeper. Hey, batter, batter, batter. Hey, batter, batter, batter. First base, $58. Second base, 630 pesos. Third base, 300,000 yen. Home, priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Fan of the game, wherever there's a game. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox, sponsored by Rocky Mountain. Refreshing Coors Light. Taste the cold. By MasterCard, there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. And by Chevy, baseball's number one fan. Chevy, an American revolution. Beautiful night here in Pittsburgh as it turns out. A number of changes into the bottom of the sixth inning. Canerco takes over at first. Tejada is in at shortstop for Jeter. Troy Gloss is the third baseman taking over for Rodriguez. Jermaine Dye is in right. And the new pitcher is Scott Kazmir. And on the first pitch, he gets Sanchez to ground a short where Tejada just into the game makes the play one out. How good is Scott Kazmir? 22 years old and he is already great. They're using that word for the young baby faced left hander for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. He is something. We'll deal with Carlos Beltran. I know about the trade a couple of seasons ago from the New York Mets for the Mets faithful sending him to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays for Victor Zambrano, right? Zambrano has been injured and Casimir seems to get better by the start. A 1-0 pitch. He threw a shutout, two-hitter, against the Boston Red Sox during the past week. And talking to Terry Francona of the Red Sox, and David Ortiz, after that start, they were stunned at how much progress Casimir had made. And David Ortiz saying he just can't even see the slider that Casimir is throwing to the plate. He can do it all. Now the development of the slider has made a world of difference for the young left-hander. Here's a 2-1. Beltron, who's with the Mets, takes high 3-1. The question Mets fans are asking is, what if we had Kazmir? <laughs> what if he didn't get away? A 20-year-old, when he won his Major League debut, as Beltron out in front fouls it, still a full count. MLB.com, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, is the official charity of Major League Baseball. Together, they create a positive place for kids. Omar Garcia Parra has yet to see action tonight, leading the National League in average as Beltron shoots one into left field, and it's caught by Gary Matthews, Jr. The ball stayed in the air for a long time, and Matthews able to get there two out. Gary Matthews Jr. usually gets there. One of the real emotional stories of this All-Star game. Six different teams before his first All-Star selection. And he not only got to that ball, but he made one of the most spectacular catches of the season earlier this year. Unbelievable. And you can even extend it beyond this season. Right. For the athletic ability he showed on this catch in Texas. Watch how he goes up on the wall and the way he catches the ball against Mike Lamb of the Astros. So far over the wall and not catching it with a backhand as Pujols hits it into center field. Back at the track and caught for the out by Grady Sizemore. We're already into the seventh inning here tonight. National League hanging on, leading 2-1 to one back after this from your local Fox station. 
It's a starry, starry night in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Corey McFerrin. Will Ozzie and the AL Stars win home field advantage for the World Series again? And which Chicago Stars will shine? The answers plus pictures and highlights coming up after the game right here on Fox News Chicago. You've seen how they play. There we go. Oh, big puppy. Now see how they live. What's up, yo? This is David Ortiz. With AT&T Home Turf. Visit SeeHowTheyLive.com for exclusive access into your favorite players' worlds. A six-speed short-throw gearbox. A sport-tuned suspension. Start making summer memories fast. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event. See your local authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for a great lease offer on a 2006 C230 sports sedan. banana smoothie from Dunkin' Donuts and drop the kids at swimming, soccer, ballet, oboe, and karate. America runs on Dunkin'. People are always asking me how they could save money on their energy bill. Well, now there's a way. Introducing CARE, customers' affordable, reliable energy. CARE is about education. Offering energy efficiency tips to help you save money. It's about assistance for those in need and budget billing options for all our customers. At ComEd, we're dedicated to delivering reliable energy at affordable prices. That's our promise. That's our way. ComEd. ComEd. ComEd, an excellent company. You've seen how they play. Oh! Albert! Now see how they live. Let's go inside. With AT&T Home Turf, visit SeeHowTheyLive.com for exclusive access into your favorite players' worlds. David Wright, one of the stars for the Mets and for the National League tonight. Homered back in the second to tie the game at one. Derek Turnbow, the flame-throwing right-hander, brings it. Ryan Howard takes over at first base. We're in the seventh inning, 2-1 to one National League, and the closer for the Brewers, Derek Turnbow, is on the mound. And the count goes to 0-2. At the plate is Paul Canerco. His first at bat since taking over for David Ortiz at first base. And at the break, the Milwaukee Brewers five and a half back of the St. Louis Cardinals. There are 20 teams that are six games out or fewer. 20 of the 30 teams. And 0-2 from Turnbow. Down and away. And that's why when the trading deadline rolls around at the end of the month you shouldn't expect to see a ton of trades because too many teams are still in contention and good point within shouting distance of a playoff spot whether it's a division lead or a wild card position one ball two strikes Canerco fights it off and fouls it see the rain just just spitting here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh Canerco up now, Troy Gloss on deck, and then Michael Young. Derek Turnbow. The guy who was out there, picked up, given a chance with the Milwaukee Brewers. And he has certainly made the most of it as Johan Santana gets loose for the Twins out in the AL bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. And now a full count. 
getting into the time of this game where you're going to start to see closers come in for each league. And for Milwaukee, they start the run here in the seventh with Turnbow. They also have Gordon and Hoffman. Ozzie Guillen has even more firepower at the end of his bullpen. 3-2 pitch and a line drive base hit to center. Leadoff man is on for the American League as Canerco gets the hit. And we will check in with Jeannie Zelasco. Well, it's about the time of the game when even people at home are starting to wonder who is your early pick for MVP. So I, I found the right family right here. Sir, would you mind standing up? Would you, would you mind just giving me your early pick for MVP? <laughs> Too early to say. He, this is this is David Wright's dad. You're not even going to pick your son. All right, I'll say uh, right now he's one of the front runners. Okay, Ron Wright. This is what I would expect from you. Everything we've heard about you and your son and your relationship. It's about towing the line and keeping things not let, not letting him get too big headed, shall we say? So we're here to maybe get a little bit of dirt about your son because everything does seem perfect. He uh, he got into a food fight when he was in high oh, school. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay. Was it colorful? I wasn't there, but I understand he got a day in school suspension. And that's uh, about the only uh, dirt that I know that he did. Now, he's not living at home anymore, so it's uh, he could be doing some things that I don't know about. But uh, knock on wood so far, uh, he hadn't given us an ounce of trouble, and we're as proud as we can be of him. Right, what do you think about a shot here tonight? I was excited. Unbelievable. Um, First All-Star game, first at bat. Uh, very, very proud of him and excited. Uh, you know, keeping the National League in the game, and that's what we're about. All right, we got Dad, we got the three brothers, Mom, and then the traveling coach here as well. You guys sit down and enjoy the game and keep pulling for the National League. They're telling me the right side is winning, guys. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Two and one is the count on Gloss with the tying run at first. Canerco, good pitch from Turnbow down and away, two and two. Tim, I think as you look at the way this game has unfolded, Phil Garner has what he wants. He's got a late inning lead, albeit a one run lead. Now he can go to his closers, Turnbow, Gordon, Hoffman, and it's up to them to do the job against this American League lineup with all the power that they can send at you, not only in the lineup, but coming off their bench. High hop to David Wright. And trouble getting it out of his glove for Sanchez, but a pick on the reach by Ryan Howard at first, that big target, and a 5-4-3 double play. Big target, but a tough play for Howard. Sanchez can't get it out of his glove. The throw is high, so the body going one way, and the ball went the other. Good play by Ryan Howard to complete the double play. Throw almost took off on Sanchez. Trouble getting it out of his glove. Crawls into the web. <laughs> and so now with two out and nobody on, the batter will be Michael Young, who is the reigning batting champion in the American League. It's a rarity, but it happened this last year. A couple of right-handed batting champs, not only Michael Young, but the great Derek Lee of the Chicago Cubs, who unfortunately has been injured for the majority of this season. Two out, nobody on, one ball, no strikes. And Young hits it in the air to right. Sanchez out. He's called off on the play by Holiday. Three batters come to the plate in the top of the seventh inning. A hit, a double play, still two to one. The National League on top as they come to bat in the bottom half. Right now, let's go to public address announcer, Tim DeBacco. Fans, please rise and honor America as we welcome Grammy Award winning recording artist John Legend to sing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her. Through the night with light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans wide with foam. Oh, God bless America. 
my own sweet home. Yeah. God bless America, my own sweet home. Here's to men to guys who want to take longer drives with fewer pit stops. And here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Flomax may help symptoms like going often, going urgently, weak stream, frequently waking up at night to go. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Upon standing, a sudden decrease in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. To learn more, call 866-4-FLOMAX. Ask your doctor. Flomax could make a difference in one week. Please accept my sincere apologies. I'm so very sorry. All those times you couldn't tackle me, it wasn't your fault. It was mine. I ignored your feelings, and that was wrong. NCAA football, 2007. Rated E for everyone. EA Sports. It's in the game. Subway Dinner Theater presents The Unfed. Uh, hungry. a blockbuster and for dinner subway restaurant try our delicious turkey breast with honey mustard and cucumber sandwich savory turkey crisp veggies and sweet honey mustard sauce subway eat fresh baby ruth is a great tasting candy bar and when you have peanuts nougat and caramel you don't need bells and whistles all right here's one whistle but no bells baby ruth from nestle official candy bar of major league baseball you make me wanna kick my heels up. Officers, drink. You make me wanna lift my head. Drinking water gives you more energy, so you can have more fun. You make your body happy. Drink more water, like new Aquafina Sparkling, bursting with natural flavors. For a tongue-tingling taste and zero calories, try Aquafina Sparkling. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Flomax. By Subway Restaurants. Subway, play hard, eat fresh. And by Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. With any home run striking the MasterCard hit it here signs, one lucky fan will win 500 free flights courtesy of MasterCard. For more information, visit Priceless.com. 500 round trips. 500 round trips. Someone won last night when Ryan Howard, on his last home run, hit the sign out in right. Johan Santana takes over. Jason Bay, another at bat. It takes a strike on the inside corner, one and one. Bay is one for two, and Flash Gordon, Tom Gordon, is getting ready for the eighth. That's fouled out of play. Santana, the Cy Young Award winner for 2004. And over the last five years now, Johan Santana has compiled a 2.87 ERA. He is fantastic. That is the lowest in the major leagues. Better than Pedro Smoltz, Oswald, and Halliday. Bay on that great Santana changeup strikes out. That changeup, I don't think anybody squares up on the mound quite like Santana does. Squaring up, and that makes that changeup very, very effective. Same arm motion as the fastball. A choked fastball gets Bay. And now Lance Berkman will come off the bench and bat for Derek Turnbow, who turned in a scoreless inning. One inning, one hit, that's it. 
Berkman takes it down and in. Lance has two of the top 10 single season totals as far as RBIs for a switch hitter. He was a pick by his manager, Phil Garner. The 1-0. Outside, 2-0. Mark Redman, a left-hander, getting loose out in the bullpen for the American League. That makes it 3-0 on Berkman. Berkman trying to get on in front of David Wright. That is outside in a four-pitch walk from Johan Santana. David Wright is coming up, and he started our Pepsi double play. Turned in the top of this seventh inning on the ball hit by Troy Gloss. Wright made the play. Sanchez had a tough time getting it out of his glove. But after throwing high, he had big Ryan Howard down there waiting. National League has its first base runner since a leadoff hit by Bay in the fourth. And the first pitch of ball to right. Also the first walk of the game. Five straight balls now thrown by Santana. Berkman on it first and right takes it right down the middle. One ball, one strike. How about the combination that the Twins can boast with the two left-handers, Johan Santana and Francisco Liriano? And behind the plate calling the pitches, Joe Maurer leading the American League in hitting. But these two left-handers are really special. A 1-1. Jam shot to short. Not hard hit. Out at second and out at first. Nicely turned by Tejada. The shortstop, Young to Tejada, on to Caner, going on to the eighth inning of this All-Star game. Still, NL on top, 2-1. to one. I was just getting to the good part, when Uncle Ernie dropped his toms. Oh, I'd seen that look before. It was heartburn. Before you could say duck sauce, I was there with my Pepsi Complete. I told him only Pepsi Complete starts to neutralize acid on contact and keeps heartburn from coming back all day or all night. In no time, Uncle Ernie was in Mooshu heaven, and I had my eye on the spicy dumpling. Pepsi Complete, just one and heartburn's done. I feel great. I feel, I feel awesome. A lot of people wrote you guys off early this year. Did you have any doubts? No doubts. No doubts. What's it like to be part of sports Ooh. history? I, I have no idea. Can't find the words? No, I'm not on the team. I'm just here for the Bud Light. I can, I can get you one. It's a cooler right over here. Are you sure? Woo! Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. The way they work today. How do we know you spend more time behind the wheel than you want? And that often, what really needs refueling is you. How do we know you like fast better than slow? And that a friendly place to stop along the way can make a big difference in your life? How do we know? It's really very simple. The human touch and a thousand other things you need. We're Exxon. We're mobile. We're drivers, too. The Roaming Gnome, enforcer of the Travelocity Guarantee. Uh-oh, all is not well. I must tell them. Good morning. Hello. Speaking? So, you're calling to help me rebook. Because the hotel pool's under construction? Oh, dear. Wow. The Travelocity Guarantee. Booking out for you even before you go. Ooh, tingly. Taco Bell's new Spicy Chicken Crunchwrap Supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices with melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell tastes. Loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled so it's good to go. For a spicier way to go, think outside the bun. Intelligent key technology that knows you. Seats that hug you. The next Nissan.
Nissan Maxima, part of the next generation of Nissan thinking. Three changes for the National League side. Miguel Cabrera takes over at third base. Carlos Lee is now in the game in left field and on the mound. The closer for the Philadelphia Phillies, Tom Gordon. First up is Joe Maurer. Leading the league in hitting. Tim, why is it so difficult, other than the obvious, for a catcher to lead a league in hitting? Now lead the majors in hitting with the 378 average. Well, the better the pitching staff, the worse your chances are to hit over 300. The reason for that, the pounding your left hand takes. And a lot of times your third, fourth, and fifth at bats later on in a ball game, you end up holding the bat with eight fingers because you can't close the hand, the left hand in Joe's case, in any catcher's case. Except for Benny DiStefano of the Pittsburgh Pirates, a left-handed catcher. Yeah. They, along with the Pittsburgh Pirates, also a left-handed catcher. One ball, two strikes on Maurer. Good fastball from Gordon. But he is a special catcher. Only two catchers have ever led their leagues in hitting. It's been done three times, but by two catchers. To the right side and foul. Oh. Joe Maurer has had a touch of gold for the Minnesota Twins. Catchers who won a batting title, Bubbles Hargrave, Ernie Lombardi. 1942, the last to do it. Highest average by a catcher all time, Piazza in 97 with the Dodgers. Win winning the batting title that season. As that one skips in there from Gordon to the count two and two. If you talk to scouts, first of all, they bring up the name Bench and they start to make comparisons. And obviously, Maurer's got a long way to go and a lot to prove to get to that level. And Johnny is here at the game tonight. And two, they say just watching him play catch or warm up the pitcher between innings, the way the ball shoots out of his hand. He is a tremendous athlete, and he is out number one here in the top of the eighth inning. I, I think the one thing that is against Joe as a catcher is his size. He is six four and a half, and that uh, often wears on a taller guy more than it would a guy of normal size, six six one. But Johnny Bench, the best catcher in the history of the game all around in my view. Here's Gary Matthews Jr. His dad played in the All-Star game. His dad played with you. Yes, he did. The Sarge, Gary Matthews. And as you said, a real great story that Junior is here in this game. 14th father-son combo. And for Gary Matthews Jr., a lifetime 249 hitter. As he stands in there tonight, he's hitting 328. And a big reason why the Rangers are having the kind of season they're having. Rangers tied with Oakland in the American League West. The Los Angeles Angels at Anaheim, two, two back, followed by the Seattle Mariners. It's anybody's division in the American League West or both Western divisions for that matter. That's low, two and one from Gordon. Matthews and then the pitcher spot is next. And big Jim Tomey is getting loose in the on-deck circle. Matthews gets a base hit through the left side. And that will bring Tomey up, number two in the American League in home runs behind David Ortiz with a chance to put the AL on top with one swing. Let's go down to Kevin Kennedy. Thanks, Joe. David, uh, what, it's, you want to prove to people that you belong in the All-Star game, so right away you got to go deep? I mean, I got a lot of practice last night. Uh, <laughs> So uh, after practicing last night, I felt pretty comfortable in there, and I uh, just got a pitch I can handle uh, my first at-bat. You are having fun. you got to be having fun playing with the guy that got voted in for the National League shortstop, Jose Reyes. Unfortunately, got hurt. Your thoughts on him? Uh, he's an outstanding player. I love him. Um, you know, we came up kind of through the system. Uh, together, we both lead blue and orange, and now I get a chance to participate in my first All-Star game along next to him. Uh, could, great guy and very energetic. Could be playing together a long time on the left side, Joe. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. A couple of 23-year-olds and the pride of the Mets. And Here's Jim Tomey, who is now the pride of the Chicago White Sox and the brilliant move by Kenny Williams, their GM, to pick him up from the Phillies. Runner goes a shattered bat and a ground ball to Sanchez for out number two. A 
plane will be a little lighter going back to the <laughs> south side of Chicago for Jim Tomey. He'll leave that bat here. Woo, that's a shatter job right there. My goodness. Doesn't even give you a chance to talk about what Jim Tomey is doing after hitting seven home runs all of last year, fighting through elbow and back trouble. He gets traded to the Chicago White Sox, and he has made them, in my mind, a team that was the best in the major leagues last year, even better in 2006. That's because of their pitching last year, and they've added thump with Tomey. Left-handed thump. Here is Sizemore, his second at bat. Grady struck out his first time. Tying run out at second base with two out here in the eighth. And Sizemore grounds it to Sanchez. Knocks it down, inning over. Gordon gets through a scoreless eighth inning. Bottom half rolls in. Sanchez made the play. Gordon celebrated after getting that final out. NL bats up two to one. If you're interested, there's a future for you in the beverage distribution industry. Hey, Joe, remember we met on the elevator? We met you like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. How are you guys? Um, I, Zach um, does a really good Joe Buck. You've got to hear it's it. It's not that great. You've got to hear why it. Did you, it's why incredible. do you do this? Do it. Not, he winds up for the pitch. It's a screwball. Wait, who's talking? Is that Joe or Zach? <laughs> He's out of there. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay. Do I no. no. Okay, let's just let's just bring it down a notch, all right? Why don't, why don't I get five? You guys have some work to do in your room or anything? Or no, all no. done. When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. They had a lot of stuff. Two dining sets, two dogs. Two car insurance companies. I'm State Farm agent Joan Roysom, and this is a true story. We had to get rid of a few things. Yeah, mainly my things. He had State Farm. She had a gecko. I helped them compare rates and coverage. It was no comparison. He was right. For once. This time, one of my things stayed. Last year, 1.3 million drivers switched to State Farm. Call an agent today and you'll switch too. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Subway Dinner Theater presents My Hero, the compelling story of how the tasty new bourbon chicken sandwich, hot and fresh from the oven, swept an entire nation off its feet. Subway, eat fresh! Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. I'm into doing fun stuff like movies, music, podcasts, stuff like that. I also do fun stuff like timesheets and spreadsheets and pie charts. Okay, uh, no, by fun I mean more in terms of, for example, it'd be kind of hard to capture a family vacation, say, with a, a, a pie chart, you know. Not true. Oh? For example, this light gray area could represent hangout time, whereas this dark gray area could represent just kicking it. Yeah, no, I feel like I was there. Leaving for work, the newlyweds. The not-so-newlyweds. Don't use the downstairs toilet. Emmy winner Brad Garrett in Till Death. The new comedy premieres Thursday, September 7th on Fox. The 2006 All-Star Game on Fox is sponsored by Holiday Inn, the official hotel of Major League Baseball. By Pepsi Complete, turn a fast and long-lasting double play against Heartburn. And by Pepsi, it's the Cola. Up above, tonight's aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear's new Eagle Tire with Response Edge technology. Featuring a carbon fiber reinforced sidewall for enhanced performance. We're into the bottom of the eighth inning. The National League side is batting against the closer for Toronto, B.J. Ryan. And he's up on the count 0-2 to Brian McCann, the young catcher for the Atlanta Braves. There are the numbers for Ryan, that great ERA of 0.84, part of the big spending spree that the Blue Jays had over the offseason. Tejada takes care of McCann. One out in the bottom of the eighth. Pepsi is the official soft drink of Major League Baseball. It gives us our clutch performance of the first half of the season. June 24th, the Fox Saturday game of the week. David Ortiz to Tom Gordon deep. More Pepsi clutch performances can be found at Pepsi.
PepsiClutch.MLB.com and be sure to watch for the Pepsi Clutch performance of the week during our Fox Saturday telecast. Here's Eckstein. On the inside corner for a strike from Ryan. Mark Burley and Bobby Jenks getting loose for the AL in their pen. Eckstein 0 2. David, a late addition, he was the guy that took the roster spot of Jose Reyes when he couldn't answer the bell with the stitches in his pinky on his left hand. 0 2. Fights it off. One of the best two strike hitters in the game is David Eckstein. San Diego Padres have one of the best closers ever and he's getting loose out in the National League bullpen. Greatest percentage of saves in the history of the game, Trevor Hoffman. in the ninth inning. It'll be the top of the order for the AL. Eckstein hits it foul way out in front. Hit it behind him. Still 0-2. Almost took Brad Henderson. Trainer for the Pirates. Almost needed his own medical attention after Eckstein shot a foul over to the NL dugout. Eckstein strikes out. Two down. Our game summary is brought to you by, by Flomax as we approach 11 o'clock in the East. For the American League, the offense has been held down to four hits. All night, they've stranded only two. And two home runs tonight. First, Vladimir Guerrero putting the AL up in the bottom of the second. David Wright answered with a shot to left. David Wright lines out to third, rather holiday, and the inning comes to a close. Holiday is the final out. The bottom of the eighth. Here we go in the ninth inning. AL bats down two to one. Champagne, gentlemen. Uh, don't worry. I got us covered. What is that? It's a Coors Light cooler box. 18 plastic bottles and a ready-made cooler. All we need is ice. Genius. The Go Anywhere Coors Light cooler box. Just add ice and enjoy. <laughs> to the bride. Coors Light. Taste the cold. Welcome to the Stackers Union, kid. We build stacks of meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. Hey, what's this? A single? We have no single. Get some more meat down here it's now. Okay. Pass the meat. Get this meat off of me! New BK Stacker, bacon and cheese on flame broiled beef. Stack it high, tough guy. If you haven't discovered the miracle of fusion, it's time you did. Select fusion. Until now, pressure caused irritation. Fusion has five blades spaced closer together to reduce pressure with less irritation and more comfort. Flip fusion over. A precision trimmer for those tricky places. The comfort of five blades plus the precision of one. The best shave ever in manual and battery powered. Gillette guarantees it or your money back. Gillette Fusion. On February 6th, AOL invited its members to be fast. Hey and switch from dial-up to true broadband. Since then, thousands of people every day have experienced the easy setup, the most comprehensive set of safety tools online, and content made to bring broadband to life. Now it's your turn to experience AOL High Speed. Get both AOL service and a broadband connection together for as low as $25.90 a month. Call 1-866-MEET-AOL or go to aol.com slash high speed. Want a better high speed internet? You belong at AOL. On August 25th, discover how an ordinary bartender tried to become the most unlikely rookie in NFL history. Invincible, inspired by a true story, rated PG. Pickup and SUV. Gasoline and E85 ethanol. Paul and Toe. The all new 2007 Chevy Avalanche. The most flexible vehicle out there. 
Trevor Hoffman is into his fifth All-Star game, his 14th season of his great career out in San Diego, and number two on the all-time saves list with 460. He is a change-up artist. That is his best pitch. He is not a closer that comes in firing 98 miles an hour. Not like Mariano Rivera. Yeah, he's, he is a fastball change-up guy and rarely gets beaten on his breaking ball. There is a changeup and Jermaine Dye hits a dribbler. One out, Jermaine Dye in his only at bat taps back to Trevor Hoffman. One out here in the ninth inning and it's time for the Holiday Inn look again play of the game brought to you by Holiday Inn, the official hotel of Major League Baseball. Beltron in the third inning, a base hit. Out at the plate, steals third and it was big with two out pools up because the difference in the game right now is a wild pitch. Beltron scores two to one and it's still two to one. Top of the ninth inning, one out, nobody on for Tejada. Miguel Tejada takes a strike from Hoffman. Last year's All-Star Game MVP and the 2002 American League MVP with the A's. One out, nobody on. Hoffman trying to secure home field advantage for the National League in the upcoming World Series. 0-2 on Tejada. The National League trying to win for the first time since 1996. The AL had won the last eight decisions with that tie mixed in. 14-3-1 the last 18 games. And now on another changeup, the National League is one out away from a two-to-one victory. If this score holds, it would be the lowest scoring All-Star game since 1990, when the American League won two to nothing and the National League had two hits. Tonight, the AL has four. Here's Canerco, last hope for the AL. Crowd starts to climb back in it. Canerco, who was the 2005 ALCS most valuable player. In his eighth season with the White Sox, rips it to third, and it's a base hit. Cabrera was guarding the line, and Paul Canerco hit it right into the position for a two-out hit. And the American League will have a pinch runner, but you're right. Cabrera was on the line had he been playing straight up. The game's over. Jose Lopez will come on and pinch run. That means that A.J. Pierzynski is the only American League position player that to this point has not been in the game. Glaus, strike one. Troy Gloss with his 25 home runs, his 60 RBIs, missed the first pitch from Hoffman. Tying run at first, two out, and a shot into left field. Over on the move is Lee. It takes a bounce and goes out of play. It's a ground rule double, meaning that Lopez has to stop at third. And it's second and third with two down here in the ninth inning. That was a real break for the American League. Had that ball hit the fence, the carom would have taken it where the left fielder, Jason Bay, was. Or Carlos Lee, I beg your pardon. So a change up to Gloss. And see, if that ball hits right in here, it goes that way. By bouncing over the fence, of course, it's a ground rule double, a break for the National League. Still two to one, second and third, and Young hits it down the right field line, foul. The reigning batting champion up for the second time tonight. He flied to right his first time up, and all of a sudden, the American League is one hit away from taking a one-run lead. Lopez at third, Gloss at second, two out, and a shot foul, it's 0-2. Rivera getting ready just in case. And now with two strikes, 
this crowd back in the game. The 0-2. Line drive is a base hit into right center field. Young has delivered. The American League is back on top. Young will dig for third. Throw by Eckstein. Too late. Michael Young, a hero in the ninth inning for the AL. A two-out rally, and the American League has regained the lead. A single by Canerco, a double by Gloss, and this two-run triple by Michael Young. Single, double, triple, two runs for the American League here in the ninth inning. All with two out. Two ground balls back to Hoffman and then three straight hits. And Michael Young with a huge hit in the ninth inning. And now with two out, a chance for another run as Joe Maurer steps in. Young, who is so often overlooked, one of the best hitters in baseball, period, steps up with two out and triples into right center field. Won the American League batting crown last year. The 0-1 pitch. Maurer hits it back to Hoffman, who knocks it down and ends the inning. But all of a sudden, in a blink, the American League is back on top. They led one to nothing after an inning and a half, and now after eight and a half here in Pittsburgh with Rivera coming in, 3-2 AL. Bottom of the ninth, coming up. I was just getting to the good part when Uncle Ernie dropped his toms. Oh, I'd seen that look before. It was heartburn. Before you could say duck sauce, I was there with my Pepsi Complete. I told him only Pepsi Complete starts to neutralize acid on contact and keeps heartburn from coming back all day or all night. In no time, Uncle Ernie was in Mooshu heaven, and I had my eye on a spicy dumpling. Pepsi Complete, just one and heartburn's done. If you haven't discovered the miracle of fusion, it's time you did. Select Fusion. Until now, pressure caused irritation. Fusion has five blades spaced closer together to reduce pressure with less irritation and more comfort. Flip Fusion over. A precision trimmer for those tricky places. The comfort of five blades plus the precision of one. The best shave ever in manual and battery power. Gillette guarantees it or your money back. Gillette Fusion. Are you getting enough fiber? Goodyear's new Eagle Response Edge gives you more of what you crave. The added performance of carbon fiber. A carbon fiber reinforced sidewall creates added stability for sharp maneuvering and a better feel for the road. While a shock absorbing insulator delivers a smooth, quiet ride. The new Goodyear Eagle Response Edge. Getting your fiber has never been so fun. Innovation on the wings of Goodyear. This fall, television's biggest thrills are all on one night. The new Fox Monday. First Prison Break is back with a new season. I will gun you down, Snowfield! The greatest manhunt in history is on. The return of Prison Break. Then, what begins with an abduction? Do whatever it takes to get my wife back. Will unveil a centuries-old conspiracy. Be there before the secrets get out. The premiere of Vanished After Prison Break, Monday, August 21st. The new fall season starts first on Fox. Has Fox Sports found a host yet? Hey, who is the host? Woo! Woo! Who's the host? Who's the host? Hey, who's the host? Has Fox found a host yet? Who needs the host? Find out when Fox NFL Sunday returns. Trevor Hoffman now left a root for his National League teammates after blowing the save thanks to the two-out, two-run triple by Michael Young. The American League bench reacting. So many players on that bench on teams that are front running for a playoff spot right now. Ozzie Guillen had it set up for Michael Young who delivers. And now with Hoffman left standing there watching. Number two on the all time saves list. Number four is coming out and ready to pitch and that is Mariano Rivera who has been the best big game closer in the history of Major League Baseball. 
postseason and during the season for the New York Yankees. He is phenomenal. Gloss moves over to first base. Lopez is in the game at third near the bag and the batter is Sanchez. He takes a strike from Mariano Rivera. Rivera a four time World Series champion. 34 career postseason saves including nine in the World Series both records. Sanchez reaching its own two. Ready for one in this game on deck is Beltron who's played throughout. And then Ryan Howard. The 0 2 ball one. Trevor Hoffman started the top of this ninth inning with a career all-star game ERA of over 10. Could not nail it down and Sanchez grounds to third. Lopez to his left. Good play. One out. We came into this game talking about the American League's dominance. They lead World Series play six to three since 1997. 8 0 and 1 since 97 in the All Star game and in interleague play they have dominated the National League here in 2006. Here is Beltron. Carlos Beltron had a leg up on the MVP award before the two out two run triple by Michael Young and he takes a ball down and in. On deck is Ryan Howard so there is thunder left for the National League. One ball one strike. Those of you folks who do not know Mariano Rivera he throws one speed a one speed fastball he crowds left handed batters and if they hit it on the good part of the bat usually they pull it foul. More often than not he breaks the bat. Off his front foot, fouled, and it's one and two. In fact, he's so tough on left-handed batters that there are some occasions where switch hitters will just go up and bat right-handed against Mariano Rivera. It was said early by Ozzie Guillen, if we have a chance and we have a lead in the ninth inning, my closer, even though he has Papelbon, B.J. Ryan, and his own Bobby Jenks, my closer is going to be Mariano Rivera. The one two. Two and two. In his career against Rivera, Beltron three for twelve. The two two. Beltron just got a piece. As it stands right now, Andre Jones did not get into the game. Nomar Garcia Parra. Scott Rowland and Dan Ugla for the National League. Ryan Howard, the man on deck in a home run derby here last night. The 2-2 two -two to Beltron. Lopez bobbles, picks it up, throws, safe. And the tying run is on. Beltron may have hurt himself going past first base. A lot of times that long stride right there, he's got that shin guard on his right shin. The bobble by Lopez and extending with that last stride right there and coming down on his heel. Squatted down in shallow right field. He tripped actually over the leg of Troy Gloss and he appears to be all right. And now the kid slugger from the Philadelphia Phillies, Ryan Howard, steps up. One on, one out. When Howard came in, Phil Garner had the option of putting him in the number five spot. He wanted Howard hitting third. And here he is representing the potential winning run at the plate in the ninth inning. One on, one out, and Howard rips it foul. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Ryan Howard 0 for 2 in his career against Rivera. Check 
on Beltron. You've got a power man at the plate in Ryan Howard. You've got a guy who can steal bases on it first. He already has in this game, Beltron. We've already heard Phil Garner say that his players are on their own. One ball, one strike on Howard. Yeah, Joe, I, th I think the reason that he wouldn't run right now is he got a scare when he hit first base. And that scare was in the lower part of his body. And understandably, I don't know whether he wants to take a chance and run right here. A 1-1 one, one. to the right side. Young, his only play at first. The tying run in scoring position, two out. And Carlos Lee of the Milwaukee Brewers is walking to the plate. just out of the way of that batted ball by Ryan Howard, which would have meant that Beltron would have been out, Howard would have been awarded first base, and would have taken the tying run out of scoring position. As it is, Carlos Lee can tie this game with a hit. deals and Lee comes up empty in 1994 the last time the game the all-star game was here in Pittsburgh Fred McGriff hit a two-run home run in the ninth inning to tie the game and send it into extra innings here the National League is asking for a little old hit from Carlos Lee one ball one strike Three out of 11 in his career is Carlos Lee against Rivera. Has a lot of power the other way. Will hit the ball to right. Beltron stealing third and a foul off to the right for strike two. Beltron would have stolen third without a throw. Beltron with one steal of third in this ball game, and he scored on the wild pitch. That was the difference until the two-out triple by Michael Young in the top of the ninth inning. The error by Lopez has allowed the National League a chance. One-two pitch. Lee floats one into shallow right. Out is Young. Michael Young secures it. And the American League has secured home field advantage in the upcoming World Series with a 3-2 win. I think the American League loves this format. Whoever wins the All-Star game gets the home field advantage in the World Series. Since that format, they haven't lost. They haven't lost overall since 1996. And with fireworks exploding over PNC Park, a blown save for Trevor Hoffman. A missed opportunity for the National League. To get some of their pride back. And again, it's the American League on top. Albeit because of a two-out, two-run triple. Even two strikes on Michael Young. And a 3-2 win. Remember that rally that started on a ground ball base hit through the left side by Canerco through the position with Cabrera tucked over by the line to guard against an extra base hit. The single started it, the double followed by Gloss, and then Young, in essence, wins it with a two-run triple. The winning pitcher is B.J. Ryan, the loser Hoffman, the save for Rivera. Two-hour, 33-minute game, and let's go down to Kevin Kennedy. He well, Joe, I'm to... uh, Troy's, Troy's so thirsty right now after hitting that double to uh, keep the team alive in the American League. He's getting a glass of water, but he's going to be right here back here with us. Here he comes right now. Troy Glass, congratulations. What, that double wear you out or what? Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, I was a little nervous playing first base. That, that made me nervous. I was going to ask you that. A lot of position changes in this game tonight, but more than that, let's switch over. You know, we know Trevor Hoppin you faced before in the National League. You faced him in spring training. Were you sitting on changeup? I was just hoping I saw it because I haven't had great success on trying to see that thing. But, uh, you know, I was just trying to hit the fastball the other way, just trying to keep the inning alive. When you hit it and you hit it in the corner, you, did you think the game was going to be tied to that point? I was hoping. I was hoping. I mean, I played here last year, and I know that, that fence is short over there, but I was hoping it was going to stay in. And, uh, 
I was going to get a chance to score. Final thing, you've been an MVP in the World Series before. That was pressure. Were you feeling the pressure out there in that last at bat? Yeah, nobody wants to make the last out of anything. But I'll be in a regular season game, an all-star game, World Series, whatever. Um, especially down one. You know, we're trying to we're trying to do anything we can to get a run across, at least to tie the game. And uh, fortunately, we're enough to get two. You know, Michael came up with a huge hit and get us two. All right, go get some water. Thanks a lot, Troy. Congratulations. Joe. Troy Gloss. Thank you, Kevin. Troy Gloss with the big hit. Set it up. Michael Young wins it with a two-out, two-run triple. Beautiful night in Pittsburgh. PNC Park. We'll come back with a presentation of the MVP award after this break on Fox. It's a starry, starry night in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Corey McFerrin. Will Ozzie and the AL Stars win home field advantage for the World Series again? And which Chicago Stars will shine? The answers plus pictures and highlights coming up after the game right here on Fox News Chicago. I've always felt that an electric company is more than just a business. People count on us to keep the power on for their livelihoods, even their lives. That's why at ComEd, we've invested $3 billion to make our systems more reliable, even though our rates have been frozen for nearly a decade. Now, as that rate freeze ends, we're committed to phasing in any increase while continuing to provide the reliable service you deserve. At ComEd, we have two missions, reliable service at a price you can afford. Think about the mountains you want to climb in the BMW X5. The corners you want to take. The hairpin turns you plan to find. Because it would be very un-BMW-like to have you thinking about brake pads, rotors, and oil changes. The BMW X5. The only SAV in its class with a standard full maintenance program. Lease a BMW X5 3.0i for $505 a month, now until August 31st. It was the perfect setup. Only one problem. They were last year's winners. Go! go, go, go! This year, the payoff is even higher. With Illinois Lottery set for life. When cash for a car, a vacation, oh, $100,000 every year for the rest of your life. Send in $30 worth of qualifying non-winning instant or pick-and-play tickets to win. Copy that. This summer, play set for life. Now, a Comcast Chicagoland Consumer Bulletin. Don't get ripped off. The phone company's lightweight offerings don't come close to the Comcast Triple Play. 100% digital cable TV, high-speed internet, and home phone. It's like this. Comcast Phone Company. Comcast Phone Company. Comparable quality and features from the phone guys? You pay up to $200 more. Call 1-888-PROVEST-TV for the Comcast Triple Play. Digital cable, real high-speed internet, and unlimited home phone service. Just $33 each per month for 12 months when you get all three. This has been a Comcast Consumer Bulletin. What began over four hours ago has ballooned into a hostage standoff. Pick up the phone! In the world of crisis negotiators. I've been listening to you for the last three hours. No one will doubt my strength. They are the FBI's top two. All you need is one hostage. I'll make for a good trade. This fall. You're not going in there. You're putting yourself at risk. Everything is negotiable. What is she doing? Don't make a sound. Standoff. The series premiered Tuesday, September 5th on Fox. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Welcome back to the Chevy All-Star Post Game Show on Fox. Chevy Baseball's number one fan in American Revolution. Again, the final score, American League wins it with a rally in the ninth inning. 3-2 the final. Let's go down to Jeannie's Alasco. And guess who's shown up? The Commissioner of Baseball, Bud Selig, with some hardware to pass out. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of Chevrolet, it's my privilege, uh, Michael, to present the Ted Williams All-Star Game Most Valuable Player Award. You had quite a night with a great clutch hit. Congratulations. Well-deserved honor. And Michael, while you take that very carefully, we will go to the general manager of Chevrolet, Ed Peeper. P appropriate for a guy from Texas. You're getting a big belt buckle here, but look what's attached. Yeah. Michael, congratulations on behalf of Chevrolet and all of our Chevrolet dealers. I am pleased and proud to present the keys to an all new 2007 Chevy Avalanche, the most flexible vehicle out there. 
Chevy, that's an American Revolution. Congratulations. Saw the flexibility in you tonight. I think we've made a believer out of you in two things. First of all, you're now a fan of interleague play because I believe you just saw Mr. Hoffman, Trevor Hoffman, a few weeks ago, yes? Yeah, I just saw him a couple weeks ago. Uh, when you have someone of that caliber, though, it's never an easy at-bat. So I was just fortunate to make some contact in a, in a tough count and fortunately fell in. All right, you have gone on record numerous times about saying that home field advantage for the World Series really shouldn't be up for grabs at the All-Star game. Now you're on the winning side here. This is your third time, of course. Does it mean a little bit more now? Yeah, of course. I can change course now. You yeah. Go. So um, I'm sure uh, one team that's in our clubhouse right now is going to be is going to the beneficiary of this win. So we're all very excited about it. That was one point that Ozzy made to us before the game was to go out and play this game to win because someone's going to be pretty happy about it come October. All right. Finally, let's ask you about the reason that you're here, wrapping the glove around the final out. And prior to that, have you ever felt more comfortable? coming up to the plate with two outs, knowing that all you had to do was make a little contact because Mariano Rivera was going to come in and close it out. That's true. You have, uh, we had a lot of good pitchers out there. Obviously, anytime Mariano's on, uh, in the ninth, you feel like the game's over. But, uh, you know, Paul and Troy deserve a ton of credit for getting on against, uh, against a great closer. And I was just put in a situation where I can hopefully get a, get a little hit to fall in. So uh, definitely feel fortunate right now, and uh, I'm pretty happy. All right, on behalf of Mr. Selig, Mr. Peeper, and everybody at Fox Sports, congratulations. Joe Buck, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. Nine innings and nine great prizes, plus a grand prize like tonight's All-Star MVP's new truck, the all-new 2007 Chevy Avalanche. FoxSports.com thanks the thousands who participated in the nine-in-nine nine sweepstakes. Presented by Chevrolet, baseball's number one fan. We'll come back and wrap up what was a rather quick night of baseball here in Pittsburgh. On the other side of this break as our Chevy Post game continues. Pickup and SUV. Gasoline and E85 ethanol. Paul and tow. The all-new 2007 Chevy Avalanche. The most flexible vehicle out there. If you're a fraction off, it can change everything. On the field and in the lab, where Gatorade scientists test and retest athletes so we know exactly what their bodies demand. Precision counts. Out there. And in here. Here's to men, to guys who want to take longer drives with fewer pit stops. And here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Flomax may help symptoms like going often, going urgently, weak stream, frequently waking up at night to go. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Upon standing, a sudden decrease in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. To learn more, call 866-4-FLOMAX. Ask your doctor. Flomax could make a difference in one week. Well, it's been a long day for Strahan. What a lovely shot. Yeah! Hey, maybe it's your deodorant. Let's start over. No, no, this time start with new Right Guard Sport deodorant, now packed with even more scent. Right Guard, start right and right. 24 hours ago, Sarah Collins, wife of Senator Jeffrey Collins, vanished. Fingerprint was a definite match to a Mark Valera. This fall, he was killed and then inked. Uncover a centuries-old conspiracy. Looks like a saint. That will leave a nation hanging in the balance. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. President. She's gone missing before. Not only did Sarah disappear, but the story did too. Do whatever it takes to get my wife back. Vanished. The new series premieres Monday, August 21st on Fox. Welcome back to the Chevy All-Star Post Game Show on Fox. Chevy, baseball's number one fan in American Revolution. Tonight's aerial coverage is brought to you by Goodyear's new Eagle Tire with Response Edge technology, featuring a carbon fiber reinforced sidewall for enhanced performance. You know the final score by now, 3-2, an enhanced performance by Tim McCarver in your 15th All-Star game. 
As we look back, you and I took our headsets off after the American League took the lead. I, I have no idea why, but you almost felt sorry for the National League after suffering what they've done the last run of All-Star games, the way interleague play has gone, and here they are again, one strike away, and they lose the ball game. Well, Trevor Hoffman made it look so easy with two uh, uh, ground outs to him, and, uh, and then the base hit, as you pointed out, with Cabrera guarding the line. Single, double, triple by Michael Young. Not a bad deal. One hit, one Chevy. And Yeah, one hit, <laughs> one Chevy, and uh, nighty night for this 77th Major League Baseball All-Star game. Uh, Michael Young gets the winning hit. He is the MVP. It just goes to show you, you play two and a half hours, and the MVP was literally decided with one swing of the bat and very humble with what he said out there. I had a little hit ball in. He ripped that ball off Trevor Hoffman. He, he really was, and that's, uh, that's certainly appropriate, nighty night, nighty night, but not nighty night for us for the next seven years. Fox has announced that we will have baseball for the next seven years, the All-Star Game and World Series. You're stuck. You're stuck. stuck with us for the next seven years. Or at least Fox. I don't know about us. We'll take a break. This is it. Good night. 77th All-Star Game. AL wins it 3-2. Wherever you're going, there's a car company that wants you to get more out of a gallon of gas. Chevy. Nine out of ten cars we sell get an EPA-estimated 30 highway miles per gallon or better. Here's one that doesn't, but it still gets 26 MPG highway. Chevy, we're taking a full tank further. That's an American revolution. Subway Dinner Theater presents Here We Go Again. Ring, ring. Angelo's. I'd like a... Pepperoni. With extra a... cheese. Phone number. 5558739. Five, 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 eight, seven, seven, three, nine. Nine. Holy deja food. And for dinner, Subway Restaurant. And the delicious new bourbon chicken sandwich. Tender chicken in a zesty sauce. Hot and fresh from the oven on freshly baked bread. Subway. Eat fresh. Hey, Joe, remember we met on the elevator? We met you like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. How are you guys? Um, I, Zach um, does a really good Joe Buck. You've got to hear it's it. It's not that great. You've got to hear why it. Did you, it's why incredible. do you do this? Do it. Not, he winds up for the pitch. It's a screwball. Wait, who's talking? Is that Joe or Zach? <laughs> He's out of there. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay. Right. No. no. Okay, let's just let's just bring it down a notch, all right? Why don't, why don't I get five? You guys have some work to do in your room or anything? Or? No, all no. done. New extra strength Rolaid soft chews. They relieve heartburn fast. And now they do something more. Tasty, delicious, chewy, not chalky. Plus, now they do something more. New Rolaid stops heartburn. And now the pressure and bloating of gas. New Rolaid plus gas relief has the most effective anti-gas medicine. Tums doesn't. New extra strength Rolaid plus. Extra strength heartburn and gas relief too. What began over four hours ago has ballooned into a hostage standoff. Pick up the phone! In the world of crisis negotiators. I've been listening to you for the last three hours. No one will doubt my strength. They are the FBI's top two. All you need is one hostage. I'll make for a good trade. This fall. You're not going in there. You're putting yourself at risk. Everything is negotiable. What is she doing? Don't make a sound. Standoff. The series premiered Tuesday, September 5th on Fox. And welcome back for the final time to the Chevy All-Star Postgame Show on Fox Chevy Baseball's number one fan at American Revolution. Saturday, good games on Fox Saturday Baseball. Join us. White Sox travel to take on the Yankees. The Dodgers take on the Cardinals or the Phillies and the Giants. Check local listings for the game in your area. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Helping us with what we call our rollout, Bronson Arroyo, pitcher for the National League, talented man as we look back on this night. A 3-2 win for the American League. And on behalf of our producer, Pete Machesca, our director, Bill Webb, and of course, Kevin, Jeannie, Ken, Tim, I'm Joe. So long from Pittsburgh. It's been a great, great host city. 3-2 is the final. AL wins it. So long, everybody. Thank you.